In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. That's a 440 with twin four barrels and cherry bombs. Popped up with hooker headers, thrush pipes, glass packs, delivering 600 horsepower with 1,300 foot pounds of torque at the axles. <laughs> Plays rubber in every gear. Oh, yeah. included. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great, Chips. Mm -hmm. It's really Commercial sign in 15 seconds, and I need it this time. Jeez. Oh, well, don't say hi, Jeepers. Jeez. Well, it's great that you guys have a hobby. Yeah, we were sort of tracing the development of the American muscle car and its symbiotic relationship to the feelings of isolation and disillusionment of post-war adolescence. You know, the almost mythic leather-clad loner and the hot rod with the secret and the soul and torment. You know, his spirit lives on, Joel, finding its deepest meaning in the songs of Morrissey and Bruce Springsteen, the Turtles. Yeah, I mean, if not for the limitations of space, we ourselves might be riding through the mansions of glory and our suicide machines are jammed together on the highway with broken heroes on a last chance power drive. Well, I guess we would then. Wrap yeah. your hands across my velvet ribs uh -oh. and strap your That's hands across my ears. All right, who taught her that? Which one of you? Uh, uh, commercial sign now. Oh, 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 Now look, Gypsy, you don't have velvet rims, all right? And I don't want anybody strapping anyone's hands across anyone's engines, okay, Capiche? Okay. Uh, evil hell spawn are calling, so behave. Come in, Joel, my little space guy, my little uh, man who's trapped up there, my little person who we control in a funny kind of way. Why don't you hit the sack, Frank? I'll take over from here, okay? Thanks, Dad. Well, Joel, we're gonna swing right into this week's invention exchange. Frank? You know, when you've been hospitalized as frequently as I have, the same old hospital food gets to be a real drag, particularly the flavorless swill that they pump intravenously into your arms as you drift in and out of consciousness. That's why I've invented these new tasty boil-in-the-bag intravenous dinners. Who says a coma can't be delicious? That's right, no more glycopyrrolate administered drably at 0.8 milligrams per liter of Ringer's lactate. This is hearty Irish stew with cubed lamb. Mm. And this is a delightful uh, poulon vin rouge that we have here. Is that tine I'm tasting? 60 parts per million, Frank. Uh, here's uh, cauliflower, and uh, would you like to see our dessert cart? <laughs> Should I? Well, we have uh, calamira figs in a port sauce that's very tasty, or uh, almond cake with apricot coulis. It's really decadent. <laughs> okay, you talked me into it, but please, small portions. <laughs> what do you think, Joel? I don't. Whoa, good oh, one. Good one, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Um, our invention exchange this week, sirs, are based on the old classic pop-up books we had when we were kids. But now that I've grown up, uh, my tastes have changed, and I like a more sophisticated fare. So we all got together and came up with some 
pop-up books for some adult titles like uh, Charles Dickens' uh, Great Expectations. Ooh, oh, look at that. that. Isn't that yeah. sweet? Yeah. 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 Cake with rats on it. Oh, uh, there's the pop-up version of Tolstoy's Anna Karenina. Oh, this okay. is one of my favorites. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh. That's Check the end the of the book. And for that touch of despair, there's always Albert Camus' classic The Plague. Yeah, ah, that's how that goes. And, and I made a special one, a pop-up version of William Burroughs' Naked Lunch. Oh, no, no, I, no, no. I don't think uh, we okay. should. That wouldn't be right, no. sirs. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joel, I was just fluffing Frank's pillow. Uh, well, your your movie today is, is really bad. Uh, it's called Master Ninja uh, One, I think. Enjoy. Push the button, Frank. I had jello today. Oh, right. I'll get it. Oh, we got movies! No, they were just having a pillow Gee, fight. Gee, those That's guys all. are mean. Master Ninja Eye? A wandering ninja eye. Oh, hmm. right. Lee. Hmm. Look at he's black and blue from all that fighting. Bluer than I remember. You see, he learned too late that man is a feeling creature. Okay, Albus, we know you're in there. <laughs> what, did Lee Harvey Oswald shoot this footage? Ooh. Hey, Shokashugi. <laughs> is that the kind of thing you have with rice and uh, a little <laughs> I snorri love wrapper? It. <laughs> it's a food, Chinese food. Hi. I'm Max Keller. I'm a seagull. This is how I usually leave a bar. Max. Max. A bunch of bikers were harassing a young couple. Mm. Naturally, I had to try to stop. I don't think they liked me. Demi Moore. I think I'll <laughs> try again. Without a clue, Gallagher. <laughs> I don't like him. Stick around. This should be fun. Not with Claude Aikens in it. Mm -mm. Oh, look, now he's the great Carl Michael Demmer. Thank you, Robert Klaus, for uh, I don't know what. Hey, uh, you want to check the oil while you're under there and uh, while you're at it, check your career. Thank you, it was a lovely wedding. <laughs> Oh, we're in Deadwood, South Dakota. No. Uh oh. oh. Side hack. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Oh, the carnage. Back to you, Ed. <laughs> that kills me. Halfway across the world was a man who was going to change my life. John Peter McAllister. The only Occidental American ever to become Miss Japan. Ninja. Time for you to go, little fellow. I thought I thought Dwayne Bieta. I did, I did. It's Wee Van Queef. It's eight at night. You can take off your jammies. He dresses like Sheila E. I do like the John Cage soundtrack. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the John Cage right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cripes, it's those turtles. They moved next door. Now I'll never get any sleep. Boy, is this ever Japan. You know, mm -hmm. you can really tell this is Japan. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that stings. Ouch. Betty Hana, no! Hey, better. Hey, better, better. Hey, better. Okay, uh, the couch will be first base and invisible guy on third. Oh, oh my knee! Oh my elbow! Oh, oh my thigh! Oh, oh my back! Oh, my throat! Oh, 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 oh my shin! Oh, my shoulder! Oh, oh, oh. Tonight on Bravo, Martha Graham's new dance company. Oh, they're gonna need a new roll of tissue. Mm -hmm. So I called Allstate immediately. Lee Van Cleef is Master Ninja. Ooh. Meanwhile, in the movie 1941... He's on his way to the United States to find a daughter he never knew he had. Yes. Ellerston. 
Ellerson, weird name for me. a daughter. Once you got out alive. Look, I'm getting on that plane, and I'm where I'm going, I can't be with me. Or, huh. Wait, sir, you forgot your credit card. Oh, those IUDs are dangerous. Boy, aren't they? No, wait a minute. Is it, is it me, or did I just lose face? Meanwhile, in Illinois, USA... <laughs> gave a girl a ride in my wagon. Oh, I love that song. Ellerston. Somewhere in the twilight zone. Look, he's talking to the sound man lying on the floor. Wait! Wait! Demi Moore? I've dreamed of her running out of the woods into my Chevy van. Whoa, that's Demi Moore! Whoa! Help me, please! Don't wait, please. I wasn't even gonna stop. Whoa, you're a mess. Were you at Prince's house? Special guest appearance by the car from Stranded in Space. The Fury 3. And what a fury it is. Don't do that. I like classical music. Good. Henry likes Mozart. He saw Amadeus from my pocket three times. Henry? The little guy there with the brown fur and fond eyes. Henry, portrait of a serial gerbil. Who's this behind us? Must have got separated from the wedding party. Just get me out of here, okay? Hey, where do you get those dash mounted gerbil cages? What, are you doing? what does it look like? Please, just take me to the airport. Hmm? You really must want to get away from this guy. No, no. My father's is airport, it? Trumbull's Airfield. It's just right on the other side of the trees. You, you kind of know where that is. Just passing through. Jeez, doesn't your dad have an you airport? Know behind us? Yeah, I know him. Husband or boyfriend? Well, he's a horn salesman. I don't have either look, Mr. Max Keller. Holly Trumbull, you're great and I'm really scared. And all I ask is just please take me to my home. Okay, okay, I'll take you, I'll take you. Do you need a lozenge or something? Ooh. Filmed in Mendocino County, Illinois. So you got under this yeah. hood. <laughs> Six more of those little suckers going like hell. You bastard! Ain't got no rear view mirror. You know, you're kind of a high maintenance date, you know that? Anything you uh, left out of this damsel in distress story? Like that's a cop behind us? Just don't stop. Oh, wow. Listen, the uh, cops and I don't quite snuggle up. Sheriff Kyle has a personal vendetta against myself and my father. Mm. A vendetta? Take a better look, okay? Do I need to spell it out for you? The man tried to yep. rape me. Mm. Cop? Uh, now he's trying to shoot me. S-H-O-O-T. Oh, I don't get myself into these things. Office, that's a car! Place yourself against the dash and don't let Henry fall out. He gets crazed when he's mad. Here comes your TV car chase. It's the TV car chase theme. Hey, <laughs> your TV car chase. Your TV car chase theme. Ha! <laughs> Book it! TV car chase. Whoa! <laughs> I love that. I hope Stephen J. Canal is in that car. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pass go, Max. Go directly to jail, Max. Do not collect $200. Only you can prevent car explosions. I thought you died on me. You haven't moved for an hour. A warrior in 16th century Japan sat under an icy waterfall. He looks like one of Henson's With rats. His arms <laughs> his head like this, without moving for 86 hours. Why'd he do that? I can't imagine. Yeah, Look, well, I'm I going for the tree if you keep all. talking, old man. Slow heartbeat. Seems I've been drinking Close a lot. The door on the senses and listen to the silence. <laughs> Mind if we don't talk for the rest of the trip? At a party. Look, do you think you um, could stick around? I might need you. I'm going off duty for the day. Oh, sure. A loner. I got the time. Sit reading the classified ads in the local motel until Dick Powell comes running down the television alley at midnight. Oh, uh, let Dennis head. Miller do Dennis Miller, <laughs> Danny. Sounds good the way you put it. Is my tummy bulging? Hey, how's Bruce these days? Um, get his hands on me. I'm sorry. It makes three of us. Then we was just getting to like him. So where's a good place to stay around here? Salad Grave, train tracks are nice. Uh, Cloverleaf Motel is back down the road a couple of miles. Cloverleaf? Maybe that'll change my luck. So long. Max, um, 
I believe you can order chilled champagne even after midnight. In case Dick Powell's company isn't enough. Won't be. What are Good. they talking about? I have no idea. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave this bar through the window, pal. Hmm? I have to wreck in the sheriff's car. I thought I'd take a break. I didn't know McAllister was right behind me. Alistair McAllister? Did I meet an engine in a bar? <laughs> a lot of fun. Hmm. He looks about as much like a ninja as Irene Ryan. <laughs> In fact, it is Irene Ryan. You know, everybody's gonna know he's a ninja if they play that theme every time he comes in somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody's got their own theme music. Hey, what's the guy gotta do to get beat up in this place? That's funny, they've quit playing my theme music. Hey, isn't that the guy from Blazing Saddles? Hmm. Wanted to buy you a drink, partner. We're bringing Holly back in one piece. Hmm. Last time he blacked her eye. Someday, someone's gonna settle it with the sheriff. Uh, by the way, who are you? I'd like to do it myself. Well, it be. At one time, a Singapore sling would have been the only answer. Now I want a peanut buster parfait. I'm looking for this person. I uh, sell do you drinks. take happenings coupons? Do you want information? There's a sheriff right there. Oh. It's over the hey. top. Hi, uh, could I talk to you for a second? No! That's enough, boys. Oh, wow. Look at him. Yes, I the petite, a little airport negligee. You want to strut this down the stem, old man? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'll just die Ooh. if they find my tiger ball. Bonita, darling. You may not touch that. Right. Just keeps getting better, don't it? Hmm? Hmm? I've been hearing about him down at the truck stop. It's a ninja truck that stop. That old man can take care of himself. Yeah, well, the sheriff and I have a prior. <laughs> Go for <laughs> it, kid. Hard and fast. Yeah. Mountain Pixies go! Liar! You liar, you! That's enough! That's huh? enough! Let's get that loud now! Which okay. one? Hmm? Oh, oh, he must be a health inspector. Hmm. Tilt! <laughs> hey, look, if you lost your quarter, just fill out a form and... Uh, oh. What do we do with these here tokens? Good thing I'm not a cigarette machine. This guy would have kicked my butt. <laughs> Eight ball, corner, <coughs> well, well, you know the rest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, it unscrews. Oh. oh. Yeah. It's rules. Yeah. Oh, it started falling before it kicked it. <laughs> hey, was that necessary? Look, Lee, we made some mistakes. You made some mistakes. I need your help. Hey, You're I kidding. got some tools in my truck. Oh. Ever think of hiring that as a tornado? Just get me out of here. Man, is he hammering. Ugh, oh, smells like urine and cedar chips in here. Let's hey, be cheap! You always carry an arsenal with you everywhere you go? You always carry a hamster? All my possessions are with me. Some are more lethal than others. I was in a bar one time in Saigon. Yeah, right Michelle when you were a baby. The the place to pieces. Like it was made out of nothing. Ah, uh, so I'll get out right ninja. here. A ninja? Yeah, he carried a variety of different little weapons in a leather pouch. Oh, that's a chiropodist. Mm -hmm. Hey, what else you got in that suitcase of yours? My toothbrush. Which could rip a man's teeth out. Ooh. How could you be hurt? I mean, no one even came near you. Shuriken wound. It's a small spike wheel, and the small on my back keeps reopening. We better stay out of the emergency room so the sheriff gets tired of watching him. Yeah, you better take Making the wheel out of this out road, your too. Find some place else. You little dickens. You're home? <laughs> You're traveling in it, Jack. You're jacking in it, Trav. 
Trumbull, any one of my client's proposals would make you a very wealthy man. Claude Aikens, and he's got his ape mask. Oh, no, it's just Claude. Buy yourself LaGuardia. The yeah, couch would be cheaper. In my office, there's a picture of a field with a Jenny sitting there. Well, that's that wire A man thing. with a man in a leather flying jacket wearing a red scarf. He's got his arm around the shoulder of another man. Oh, Tom Selleck. And yeah. you know where that field is, Mr. Hanlon? You've caused my client to lose a lot of money. And so William Daniels wanted unnecessary that grief. Feels right Michael. here. The man in the leather flying jacket wearing a red scarf, that's my father. Oh, it was a trick question. And the older man with the biplane, a fellow named Wilbur Wright, who flew down to have lunch with my father because he'd invented a little thing called a turn and bank indicator. And Mr. Wright thought that this would be a good place to build an airport. Bad place to film a movie. And my father thought so too. I can assure you... No. I have no clue what you're talking about. If Mr. Christensen would like to come by here and take a plane ride, it's on the house. Oh, he's going to stab him in the throat like Godfather 3. Maybe he'd oh. have a better perspective of the world from 5,000 feet. Those lenses cost me a lot of money. Great. Please, be very careful. <gasps> oh, I thought he was going to rip off his mustache. Every Ooh. time I fly into this airport, I look down through the clouds. And I spit. And I see some good memories. Oh. They wouldn't look that good any place else. Ooh. You tell Mr. Christensen that. Mr. Christensen, hoist the mainsail! No, Christian. Very well. Oh, wait there. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Doyle. Claude Aikens, ladies and gentlemen. Claude Aikens, let's give him a big hand. He'll be back later in the show. <laughs> you know, say what you want, but Claude Aikens has a nice rump. Oh, I told you, though. You guys talking about my butt? Nope. Oh. Uh, you crack me up. I've seen your show. <laughs> Thought you might need some help. But there's a run and old guys getting tough tonight. What are you doing back here? Hey, Just Christensen. Property owner. Owns as much of this town as the law will allow. Ah, the character meeting place. Effort. Shopping center. Just stay out of this, Holly. We got into some more trouble and brought it back. Some old guy the sheriff was hassling. All the way from town, huh? Someone's broken a law. My van. Take him to the PQ. Get him a deli bar. Uh, Mr. Aikens, right, deputy, want to see your butt. Start checking over there. You got a warrant, Sheriff? Yeah, I got a made-for-TV warrant right you here. You better have one before you take one more step under my tarmac and a stretcher to take you off. Threatening an officer of the law is a serious offense. You're not listening to me. Now, you get off my property. Uh, right. Man's got to know his limitations, Clint. All I'm going to need is one more help. Hey, hey, and French. You on. What happened? Kyle? Who's Kyle? Yeah. Sir. Who is he? I'd like to know the answer to that one myself. Uh, he's the ugly. No, he's the bad. Oh. See you later. Ooh, there was a lot of electricity in that, I'll tell you. Ooh. Wow, he got paid to kiss Demi Moore. Mm -hmm. Most people have. Ooh. Did she kiss you? <laughs> it's scary. Seemed like the right moment. Don't. Guess they're just not making ninjas the way they used to, huh? Guess not. What what the you know the ninjas. But I my, it's on my uncle in thing? Milwaukee. Best friend is a ninja. You know, I'm surprised your fellow ninjas let you go. There was a sandal. Yeah, pinwheel in the back. Nice. <laughs> Max Keller. Do I get to call you master? It's got a ring to it. Yeah, so does a bathtub. John Peter McAllister's a name on the discharge. From where? They don't teach what you did in any army I know of. Army Air Corps. At the end of the war, I found myself in Japan. A ticket home and nowhere to go. Why didn't you go home? Something about the tranquility. The tranquility of post-war Japan? <laughs> what brought you home? Or were you just running? You know, this scene is really faithful Search. to the book. It shows. My daughter. One I didn't even know I had. Her name's Lefty. Wrote to me a month ago from Ellerston. This picture's yeah. taken outside of one of Trumbull's hangars. Why yeah, well, is she face? handcuffed to a biplane? And that's why you've traveled halfway around the world after 30 years? Just to find her? What other reason could there be? World perks card, frequent flyer miles. You're looking over your shoulder for someone. Secrets locked inside your head that no one else can know about? Lots of secrets. <laughs> Take the ones you can give. Ah! It sounded like the stitches were ripping. Mm -hmm. Oof. I don't understand. I'm making a deal with you. 
I'll help you find your daughter. If you'll teach me what you did in that bar. And the way you moved. The way you felt. The way you sing off key. All kinds of tricks in that suitcase of yours. You would not endure the discipline. Try me. Or the emotional commitment. What, but you don't think I got emotions? Too many of them. You're practically Leo Pascalia. Take on six attackers at once. That's not where it is, Max. You can hack it. You got nice qualities. Strong cheekbones. But not for a ninja. Anyway, I'm a cantankerous old man who's lived alone a lot of years. And I'm going to learn the true meaning of Christmas. And see why. I've been alone, too. Oh. Just, just thought <laughs> I'd try another route. Another paper route. Yeah. Anyway, hang in there, old fella. I'll hang in. Good luck finding your daughter. Go to bed, old man. This dialogue was lifted from Then Came Bronson. Say hi to Dick. Good luck finding you, sir. What? Did you say something? When Moomin Chance goes bad. Oh, uh, no, it goes in, in the tank. No. That's enough. Get to the hangar. <laughs> cold, cold. You know we're near the tank. Warmer. Here's Catherine Hepburn gassing up her plane. Henry. This is the dark night of our souls. Looks like Edie Sedgwick fell asleep again. Well, and speaking of flaming, it's about time to go. I got things to do. That actresses oh, you know, actresses are always run into a flaming building. Hey, Crow, come back. Hey. Circuit guy, what are you working on? You kind of left the theater in a hurry, you know. Yeah, what's the hoodoo, Skitter? Uh, hey, uh, dim the lights, guys. I got something to show you. Uh, Cambot, uh, play some of that appropriately tension-filled incidental music. What? It, what's this all about? We can't talk here. Crow, aren't you being just a bit overdramatic? Well, sure. Uh, but I've stumbled upon a plot that once exposed will blow the lid off the entertainment industry. Did either of you two stop to consider for a moment why Timothy Van Patten is in this stupid film? Uh, Patrick Swayze was busy? Good guess, but I thought of that. No, we're dealing with something even more terrifying than the Swayze conundrum. I'm talking about a plot more insidious. Gentlemen, I present for your consideration, assist, the Van Patten Project. Sitting atop the Van Patten corporate structure, Dick Van Patten, or should I say Don Dick Van Vito Patten Corleone. His evil plan to place an annoyingly bad actor, preferably one of his own hellish drop, in every B-grade made-for-TV and low-budget film in Hollywood. Uh, that would be all of them. <laughs> <clears throat> his plan is quite simple. He begins his career with the Lunt, scatting about in legitimate theater. Then he snatches a plum role in the television sitcom Mama. The popular show runs until 56. Then, mysteriously, no dick. <sighs> Fade to the 70s, decade of shame. Dick explodes across the television screen with shows like the new Dick Van Dyke show and The Partners, When Things Were Rotten, and Eight Is Enough, a show that launched the criminal career of many a young hack talent. Uh-huh. Now, Timothy Van Patten comes forth to do his evil in the White Shadow, the master, then James Van Patten gets a small role in the short-lived Western, the Chisholms, and then what happens to him? I don't know. And then there's Vincent. Vincent, who is truly abysmal in Apple's way and three for the road, then became the bionic boy. At least he could smell the bacon frying and had a good sense to become a tenant player. The parallels with... The Godfather are inescapable. 
Sad when it happens to somebody you know, isn't it? Uh, and her Joyce Van Patten. Yes, Joyce, sister of Dick, the real power behind the Van Patten Empire. Joyce, like Caligula's grandmother, plotting and planning in the background a string of failures in her wake. The Don Rickles Show, grandma? the Mary Tyler Moore Hour, the good guys, her with Hable, Herb Edelman, and Bob Denver, a show I actually kind of liked, except uh, for the third season when Rufus got rid of the taxi and helped out more in the diner. You know, because uh, then it really kind of started... Crow, Crow, would you please get to your point? Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Come on, you're coming with me. That's Whoa! It. Ah! Uh, we'll be right back after this. And we'll be building from Willow Lake. Oh, right fun, huh? <laughs> That's <laughs> damn it. Yeah, it's going to be a beauty. <laughs> Good luck with the center. Wonderful party, Mr. Christensen. See, he's Tony Danza. Oh. So, what do you think? I think your shopping center's premature, considering you don't own the ground. Yeah, well, so standing. are you. Oh. And how did it go down? It didn't go down, Mr. Christensen. How well, did you hear that? Like a big fireball. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I, I, I don't understand your remark. Maybe you can understand this. Nope. We're dealing with real people here. With Skip We're Stevenson? We're things and care about them. And can't be poor like your Harvard flunky here. Go ahead. Blow up another airplane. Set fire to the whole damn airport. Because you're not going to move Trump or his daughter four feet off that patch of earth. Way to stick it to the man. It's not a familiar name to me. And here's a name to get familiar with. Max Keller. It's mine. I want you to get used to it, because you're going to be hearing it a lot. Probably down at the DA's office. Because all the DA's are named Max Keller. You're not on the guest list, Mr. Keller. Long line of party crashes. Mr. Keller walked into the wrong party. See him out, would you? Would you? <laughs> Enjoy all this, pal. Because it's just going to be a sweet memory when you're an 8x6 box. What? No shot. You're in the next room. Uh, Kager's next door, I believe. It's okay. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Just Don't a worry. Just a Van Patten, ladies okay. and gentlemen. All part of the act. <laughs> it's okay. Don't, Kyle. I want that young man in jail. Then kill him. Cheers, Mr. Keller. Ooh, right on the gerbil. Oh, indoor or outdoor, this is the best carpet I've ever been thrown out on. Mm. Got thrown out. I figured. Oh, I shop here for my disco shirts. Even Rocky had to take a couple of lessons before he went back in the ring with Clubber Lang. Cl Clubber Lang? These are fictional now, characters you're talking about. If I about. can't control your passions, the least I can do is teach you enough to stay in one piece. Thought you'd never offer. How do you know about Rocky? He's been out of the country for over 30 years. I saw him on the airplane. Yeah, I tried to walk Hell out. Hell of a guy, isn't he? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh. You're kidding with this outfit, right? It's traditional. We'll ease you into it. Come at me. No holds barred. I'm going to kill you. Uh, okay. Well, we're getting into a whole <laughs> weird area now. You have got to be kidding me. Uncle. Hmm? Hone your reflexes. Do you react swifter than thought? Oh, the now key. you tell me. Here, right? The center of your being. Inner strength. What about getting the outer strength smacked out of you? That's something you should also be concerned about. <laughs> Let's see how you kick. You know, Black is so slimmy, you can't even see his gut anymore. Oh, I don't know what happened. Good. That was really, uh, oh, 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 it was still good. Oh. What, now he's in a, he's a Wallenda? Yep, yep, he sure is. Yep. A ninja must have perfect balance. <laughs> sure, that's Van Cleef, right? He could hardly hoist himself into the van. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Lee Van Petit. Right. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, we, we really don't need to see that. Want to. David Carradine. Whoop. And the judges give him a 9.7. Nice dismount. Keep your eyes on the attack. Keep your eye upon the spur. From in here. Extend. Then rake these leaves. Ah, expect attack from any direction. Concentrate! What else you got in that suitcase? 
When you're ready. It's a woozle. His name is Peanut. Hmm. Oh, it's Queen Latifah. Oh, you of win. Course. I can't hack it. Max. If you don't think I'm walking away from Christian, I told him I was going to nail him and I meant it. Thanks for the lesson. That's 45.50 cash. You have more tenacity than I expected. And speed and courage. And an agent who couldn't guarantee Thanks. a stunt double. You do me a damn bit of good. It showed you can do more than fight. And that you're going to have to do. Now you're beginning to understand me. You have no choice. You saw Kyle set the fire at the airport. You let Christensen know who you are. Unless you split town. And all of a sudden it's a Barnaby Jones wrap up now. That chance. You'll have to deal with this. We? I didn't like what happened last night. I didn't like that at all. It had no texture. Maybe the sheriff would like yeah. a visit from a real live Ouch. ninja. That could be arranged. As soon as I get my breath back. <laughs> and some breath mints. I don't mind. What is it? Got my breath back. Feels Presents. great. Let's make that visit. He is one spooky mama jama. The man with the chainmail face. Next. I was working the day watch out of Illinois, USA. You can throw your star at the man who drives the car. <laughs> you have a ride? Does that bug you? Does that bug you? I hate magic acts. Stripes and I'm all out of cars. Wonder Woman, Lyle Wagner. <laughs> Ooh, thumb cuffs. Who was with you last night when you tossed the airport? What? I don't know what your name of. Ah. Name of. I'll phrase it in the form of a question. Rossetti, Palmer, Johnson, Donahue. Who are they? The new monkeys. Police reserve. Every word passed through the DA's office. They'll be by directly. Now, where's Christian? I can get me in nasty. And my friend behind you. You know the one dressed in black with the samurai sword? Louise you know Nevelson? Those ninjas are. Always going around beheading each other. Barbaric, I know. But to them, it's some kind of ritual. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Now, where's Christian? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'll talk now. Oh, I'm scared. Hey, Phil. How are you? Like a man who keeps his head, don't you? <laughs> Again, you got me. That is rich. <laughs> Next, on a very special Trapper John. Rub the Mercedes for good luck. There's a guard in the lobby at the front desk. A lot of monitors and security guards. Well, shut up, then. Bosses on the top floor. How do we get up there? I would suggest you use the elevator. How are you going to get up there? I'll walk up. Oh, what did you eat? Stairs? The building. <laughs> Sorry I asked. I'm here to kill Mr. Christensen. Oh, go right up, Mr. Van Patten. Max Keller to see Mr. Christensen. Look at Oh, sorry, you had a little mustard <laughs> down there from months. I should have gone down like a sack of flour. Ooh. Sometimes an old-fashioned right-hand cross comes handy. It's a paperweight, and it's a gun. Clue Gallagher is that character I can't think of. <laughs> Master Ninja, I hate that show. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, like I say, always keep a supply of pegboard hooks in your pocket. You never know when they'll come in handy. Jack's Master. In color. Master Ninja. Oh, nuts! That's my car! Master Ninja. Cover your shame.
Ronce, Ninja Dodger. <gasps> Paris. That old man can take care of himself. Huh? Hey, you don't suppose that guy was supposed to be that guy? And Queen Latifah. No way. Well, whoever he is, his nose is whistling. And he was that guy? Unbelievable. He was in every scene in the movie. He was Demi Moore. He was that journal. Crow, he crow. Was... Easy. Easy, oh, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I'll just grab the seven iron. Clarence the Cross-Eyed Ninja. He who removeth the sword from its sheath shall be the right wise born king of England. Can huge go? Welcomes you. Hey Ali, you wanna check those bags at the door? <laughs> Woo. I think I'll check my credit rating while I'm here. Hi, I'm Bonnie, your huge co-operator. Oh, back to work. <laughs> the ninja creeps in on little cat tricks. Am I in the right movie? Hey, Lee, come over here a sec. Wait, whose theme music is that? Can he sneeze through that thing? Ooh. He's wearing a Joe Namath netted slingshot brief on his face. Yeah, and meanwhile, Timothy's having a non-flashback. And over here on the 30th floor of the Ernest and Julio Gallo wine cellar, uh... Who is it? Who? Helicopter's a little late, huh? Too bad. Lawyer, Mr. Haviland and Sheriff Kyle are both under arrest. Oh, they are? I, I have no idea what's going on. Of course, on. you know that. That's why you're leaving in such a hurry. Hmm? His office looks like a Chi Chi's. Mm -hmm. Hey, bring me those nachos. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you plan. Oh, on top of it all, he's a ventriloquist. Well, glad we had this chance to meet again, Mr. Kelly. Otherwise, your grandstand play last night wouldn't mean a thing, would it? Because it ain't got no swing. Many friends and only creeps in this place. Better late than never. Just one question. <clears throat> Can I use your fax machine? What would that be? How do you plan on getting up on the roof? Hmm. You really think you can stop me, Kelly? Just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a ventriloquist pistol. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello to the folks, Remington. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about that knick-knack shelf. Uh-huh. I see it. Mm. <laughs> Kids, what was that? Nothing wrong. Good thing he studied with that ninja for those ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, Jack. Now this movie is clueless. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's... He died. Meanwhile, in the other incomprehensible plot, Queen Latifah takes action. I've been expecting you. Hmm? A ninja does not betray his destiny. Oh. You will die. Okay, fine. Just wait a second. Let me uh, park the tape drive. Here. You didn't pay for your leather mug. <laughs> He just kill him when he was watching him from the tree. Those things are 450 apiece. Uh, okay, one more and then to bed for you. I'll take him. Wait. <laughs> okay, you take him now. Uh. Okay, okay, knock it off. You're getting obnoxious about it now. Ooh, 
<laughs> you know, Doris is going to be irked if she sees this mess in the morning. Yep. Hey. Ah, there go the financials for December. Uh, I'll take him. Uh, make him laugh, make him laugh. Got everything. Oh. Oh, a lot of yelling. Oh, now you've ruined the whole ambience of the room. Uh, I'll take it from here. I'll clean up. You are a ninja. Kill your enemy, as you've always done. Kill him. What? A Kirin? Ah, uh, yeah, I could go for a Never Kirin. Again. No more raspberry commies. There will be another time. They will be coming for you. If you could just take this off my yeah. chest and move it to the side, it would be... Uh, most I'll be waiting. In all the old familiar places. Ooh, oh, I always do that. Ouch. I'll turn it back on that guy. You see what he did to me last time? You won't fight again tonight. It's hurt. An artery was severed. Boy, it's not even bleeding. It? Okasa, now a ninja master, was one of my students. Sent to kill you. What ancient little gadget did you use to sever Okasa's artery? My fingers. Sticky fingers. Sorry I asked. Oh, not designed as a real sword, only a toy. Darn. Mendoza! Epilogue. Holly knows your daughter. She's in Atlanta. She all right. Find that out when you get there. I can take you that far. Hmm. I hope she's into big ass medallions. Pretty. Symbol of my household. Got what it from Bob Vila. I don't get it. For another man to possess it would mean I was no longer alive. You guys got your own set of rules. No one else can play, huh? Yeah, and I'm always the banker. I was punk. taught the secrets of the ninjas for a purpose so that I might pass them on the way my master passed them on to me. And I end up with a has-been anyway, from White Shadow. <laughs> what good is a ninja teacher without a student? Well, those who can't ninja teach. <laughs> hey, here comes Betty Jo. Ooh. Hi. Hi, Betty Jo. I've met people way cooler than you. <laughs> Let's roll, folks. Oh. Say hi to the bread pack. Oh, that thing. Oh, it's scary again. Yes, yes. Found myself in Japan after the war. Boy, talk about tranquil. Whew, let me tell you. But anyway, I got to know some ninjas. Hey, they're great guys, and they're thick as flies over there. Well, one thing led to another, and I found my... Whoa! Yo, rinse rested accidental ruser. Me and my scary theme music will follow you and your plaza Kataros will do the end of the earth. And then I will... Ah, uh, <laughs> kill you! Ah, uh, 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 you, you yeah. cheap, cheap yeah. Japanese accent! As you, can tell, yeah. as you can tell by my theme music that I'm a typical American. You want to see the way we leave a bar? <laughs> 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 the power of my music is the you weakness of my music. Oh, you... But you're coming, Oriental accent. There's nothing like a good old-fashioned left hook. Hey, how cool are you guys? Hey, hey, Chipsy, what are you supposed to be? Don't you want to be Demi Moore? It shows. Don't even think about it, Frank. Send him the movie. Time. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 we got moving side. Let's cut it out. 
Fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we see a menu, please? It's Kelly Patterson. She was the girl standing next to your daughter. Sleep. Old man runs this place. I'll try and catch her after this dance. We don't want to integrate you too fast into modern day society. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> All right, you go talk to the pretty girl. I'll talk to her father. What a pal. Anytime. <laughs> I love the way they banter. Such chemistry. <laughs> Uh, miss, could we please get some bread or something? She owes me five dollars. <laughs> Stay in a guy. Stay in a guy. Jack Perkins? <gasps> no! Yeah! Jack, no! <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Hey, what happened to Demi Moore? This is getting weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, swing it, Lee. Woo, look at him go. <laughs> yeah. Grr. Oh, my God, what happened to her other leg? Oh. Woo, woo. Mrs. Ironside in color. She's something, isn't she? A true spirit permeated with joy. And she moves great. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> we're bold oh, and we're no, bonding. Wesley. Uh, where's Jill? He's in the kitchen. She's watching old movies, hmm? Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson? I'll be right with you. Oh, he's a cool duck, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I uh, hate to burst your bubble, but she stinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it backstage. It's you. Alan Thick. Oh, oh uh, Tim. <laughs> enjoy the show. Hi, we're here to buy everything. How much Fusion is jazz is for all cultures. Well, that's one way to get service, I suppose. Perhaps you can help us. Candy coated popcorn peanuts and a prize. We've come to see Mr. Patterson. In the office. Over there. Thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you. Looks like Clarence Thomas's wife. Oh, Lee, don't worry. She's used to it. The Kennedys come here a lot. You think? With all the roughnecks we get in this place, I'd be used to it. You were right to be afraid. Be very afraid. My, but you are a sensitive male. See ya. Oh, it's the other side of the mountain. What are you doing, Jill? I'm watching you and Mother dance the waltz from Lady Be Good. Down in front, old man. Ah, you know, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers left lift. the... Look at the way you moved. You were so graceful. Yet so effeminate. I'll just bet you had Mr. Astaire shaking in his dancing pump. That was his dresser, actually. I don't actually. think he shaking too hard. I don't think know. it's kind of sicko for the leader of a wheelchair brigade to get such a charge out of watching other people dance. Yes, actually. I don't mean the way my sister danced. That's not dancing. It's That's typing. Aerobic. Now, what you did was dancing. I bet you could still do it, too. If you really want. Maybe if I had a hip. Or if he was hip. You're right, Dad. Put some hot towels on my legs at half hourly intervals. A couple of FDR oh, canes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I might be able to manage a couple of steps. A cane didn't hurt Mr. Astaire's career. <laughs> oh, baby. Don't you just hate dealing with it? An ex hoofer with two daughters. Hooker? Oh. One wheels, the other cartwheels. One is shy and retiring, and, uh,. One has a smart mouth. Ooh, too shy. My sister, shy and retiring. <laughs> the decade's answer to Isadora Duncan. What, she wears scarves? That's angry, Jeff. Sorry, I'm bitter. I wonder what she calls me. Yep. Oh, that's Isn't that mean. what you call yourself? You know, wait a minute. I took two steps yesterday. Well, ten to go, honey. I know. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is your audition for the Dancing Pirate. This, this is a blast. You are really gadding it up. We'd like to buy her wheelchair. Mr. Patterson, how good to meet you in person after all those phone calls. I'm Jonathan Chan, and this is Mr. Lika. Uh, are you related to Mr. Flem? Uh, would you excuse us, young lady? Your father and I have some important business to discuss. In a pig's eye. <laughs> when talks about pigs, when sweats. 
Watch your feet, gentlemen. I'm lethal with this thing. Do you mind? Oh, my foot. So, let's talk business. There's a little trouble up front. Big China. While Attila the Hun was distracted, so my chance to get backstage. This was going to be easy. At first. Oops. Thank God I lost my peripheral vision in the war. Hey, what is this, dream on all of a sudden? Take your hand from your eyes, you're gonna walk into the wall. Huh. Uh, you got a D cup or it's a decap, decap. Right? And, uh, <laughs> you really shouldn't be back here. Our bouncer has a small personality problem. We're Tilly the Hun, we're pals. Kelly Patterson, I'm Max Keller. Looking for a girl. No, are you? Stars in the right places, it'd be you. Right. Her name's Terry. You know her? Uh, you don't answer your name, right? Terry. Look, uh, we're on a break now, and I've got to go meet someone. Sorry. Yeah, but I, uh, sorry. I would just take a look at this picture and see if... Is it my breath? It wasn't as easy as I thought. Hmm. And it's time for the bouncer to get into his spandex leotard. Oh. <laughs> Kelly did mention a small personality problem of yours. Yeah, you hate Van Patten's. <laughs> it's the battle of the network has been. Yeah, that's for all of that patents you've kicked out of box. Yeah, you like this, pal. Here's a little warning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, seven years bad acting. More that's practice. I told you, eight is enough. So, seven years bad luck. Meanwhile, the master was getting us into even more trouble. Snapping off car antennas in the parking lot. <laughs> Ooh, ninja masters blending so well. Mm, especially in discos. Like the roots of a great oak. We take hold where we can. The only protection I need is from people like you. Now get out! Isn't everyone here really phony? They cannot move. That's an unusual insignia on your ring. An ancient household going back for centuries. Knights of Columbus? Yes. I know. You an Iron Butterfly man? We've been told to leave. Let's go. Come on, man. That Jack Perkins guy really scares me. I may leave when he lets me go. Tonight on Ninja Master, Lee Van Cleef and Joe Koshugi in a deadly game of cat and mouse. The old man hired you. I am not for hire. We are all for hire. In dark times. The dark times are gone. Are you guys speaking in haiku all of a sudden? Whoa! Hey. It's always with us. Master. Could you get to the point? Jeez, what a trip. What, oh, she's giving herself her autograph? Taking her own order. Here's her last address. Oh, oh he's so adorable. Spooky what chick. One glimpse of those blue eyes and every girl falls for him. Gotta learn his technique. So when's the last time you saw Terry? Terry Thomas? About a week ago. Look, I hope your friend isn't expecting to find no! you. girl. She's really messed up. Drugs. Yeah, she ran out. <laughs> so, how'd you get past good old Attila? He carries some cute little tricks around with him. Like this. Oh, that's the blade from my mixer. He's just leaving. Here's your gerbil. Daylight already. I didn't realize we were in there so long. <laughs> hey, that's Whoa. Nancy Culp. Nancy Culp oh, just walked by. What the hell was that all about? <laughs> this is not a toy. You only throw a shuriken against another human being in self-defense. You ever again take another weapon out of my case, you be prepared to use it against your enemy, even if it's me. And stop using my toothbrush. I'd rather not. Not yet, anyway. I guess you don't respect what you don't understand. I don't respect why this movie was made. Amen. Kelly's address and phone number. All right. I managed to get that much before you hauled me out of there. The other address is your daughter's. Kelly knows her. She knows a girl named Terry who used to be a dancer and a pilot. Terry and the pilot! Doesn't necessarily mean she's your daughter. <laughs> radio show. Let's find out. Well, I'll do the driving. 
sell the Mitsubishi and Shuriken. What? You, you want like to translate that for us, Tim? Get a windsock for the microphone next time you do an outdoor scene. Come on. I'm leaving now. I know I'm sitting now next to you. Now comes the fun part. Riding with a ninja. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. Chevy Van, a Quinn Martin production. We'll be followed. Of course we are. We're in an action pack I made know. for TV movie. Quick, take a turn here on Stephen J. Cannell Boulevard. <laughs> Well, here's a surprise. You're already canceled. <laughs> Flubber! 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 Remember, boys? Think of me as Paul Newman. Steve McQueen. Oh, right. Huh. Yep, Paul Newman, Steve McQueen, Timothy Van Patten. The legends. <laughs> the legends. <laughs> we turn here at David Hasselhoff Boulevard. You know what they're doing? They're just trying to keep away from the set of What's Up, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, back we're in Rockford turn, or is that a Starsky? Who are those guys? Assassin. The Biocasa? Bob no, Costas? Man, like ninja. You just naturally run into these fellow ninjas everywhere you go. I mean, can't you just shake hands? Do you have to show you can out kill each other? He must believe I was in the club to help Charlie Patterson. Well, what's his problem? Tell me later. Yeah, but within the next half hour, please. Hey, this is a school zone. Please. You better silence around. Oh no, they're being chased by David Sanborn. Oh, routine 27. They call for it every time. Pull over when you can. Pull over? Ah, uh, I gotta go to the little ninja's room. Throw a star. Hold it. Hold it. Yep, yep. Once again, the pursuing vehicle is driven by stupid people. I didn't know what he was going to do. So I did a voiceover. I don't think I wanted to know. Hey, if the vans are rocking. <laughs> I feel like snorkeling. Pick me up in an hour. Well, it is a good way to blend in in San Francisco, dressed like a mom. Yep. Mm. Klein jeans. Where's Demi Moore? This movie's gone off in a whole different direction. Where did he go? I hear his theme music. He's around here somewhere. <coughs> oh, he went to Outward Bound. Hold back up. He's a lineman for the county. Oh, he's going to make crank phone calls. You know, this has all the continuity of a fever dream. Hey, look, yeah. the stunt guy's got a face mask on. I wouldn't touch this movie with a 12-foot pole. A 50-foot pole. Like Valenza? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Van Cleef. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thomas Hewitt Edward Cat. Oh, you think that guy up on the wires uh, we're looking for? Nah, nah, cool. There you go. Bring it in. That's yeah, right. There you Bring go. it in. Yep. Oh, Just oh. like that. That hurts. Put you in the. Oh. Hey. Put a ninja match on top of the car. Uh, could you give me a lift to the gas station? Hey, come on. Uh, this is somewhat similar to the first episode. I mean, the first part of the movie. The <laughs> movie, yes. Silly String Ninja in color. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. That's really rich. <laughs> this is starting to get a little unbelievable. Huh? This is no place for a convertible. <laughs> TV movie. TV movie, TV movie. Oh no, I'm Montero. All right, drop the steering wheel and come with us. You'll find me pleasing? I squint, therefore I am. Show Kasuji pops the clutch and tells Van Cleef to eat his dust. Oh, 
just never had those. Damn, he knows Doug Henning. You all right? Yeah, but I'm out 20 bucks. Let's head back to the magic store. Steering wheel gag was a classic. There we go, we have to be classic. We call the cops and tell them you were the driver that forced another car off the pier? Maybe we should pass. A stone. Now you're gonna tell me who these guys are? It's a family affair. They're moving out of Chinatown into a new neighborhood. Only Charlie Patterson's a stubborn old man. And he won't pay protection. And when do you like them? <laughs> you see me again. Well, our ex-hooper doesn't understand who he's dealing with. He's gonna have to be convinced. Let's go. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas... Oh, I had the Buddha delight. It was right. real reasonable Ooh. here at the Golden Pagoda. Mm -hmm. Dear Mr. Patterson... Oh, boy, to that's have a nice place. They, they, they must imagine. be good thugs. We'll need a little more to bargain with. Uh, we'll send them Pink Lady and Jeff. Like his daughter. Pick up the dancer. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> PJ Truffleberries, try the Fintuzzler. Love together. I kind of love that time. Oh, if I hear any more John Plummer, I'll kill myself. What is this, Ice Castles? Tonight on Rendezvous Theater. Oh, baby. Baby, I love you so much, baby. If you dance with me, baby, I'll be Still very white. Yeah, very good. You, baby. Uh, are you padding out the film? Cut it out. Hey, check out my AA medallion. Spent the morning 12 step in the Van Patten kit. <laughs> okay, honey, now you're just being self-indulgent. Thanks a lot, I'll be back out at 11. She is one spooky chick. Mm -hmm. Look at what she's wearing. She looks like she works at Arby's. May I take your order, please? <laughs> Get up! Get up, walk! You've never given up on anything in your... Well, actually, I haven't known you that long. <laughs> walk, cause you're filled with love. Walk, cause you have to believe in yourself. A very special yourself. Hallmark Hall of Fame. Walk, cause you want to walk and swim. Ah, oh, she's been shot! <gasps> uh, Lee, you can jump in any time here. Come on, give me 20. Come on, one, that's one. Half a one. Oh. He knows you're alone. Boy, that uh, parquet floor must really stink. Butter. Do this. No kidding. It, can't. it comes from the heart. Who's there? He's right in front of you for crying out loud. And reaching out of the darkness. Hmm? Sometimes we can do things for strangers. I've always depended on the kindness Try of strangers. What can you do? Would somebody speak up? You can do it. Hmm? I make it the next steps. What? Huh? Louder! Imagine a silken cord being Not spun closer. out of here. Your key. One more step. Oh, I see. That helps. Thank you. I missed most of what you said, but I'm sure it was supposed to be encouraging. We can do it. She's transfixed by his dewlap. Ooh. <laughs> ah, you jeweled all over my turtleneck. Oh, you were fantastic, Lee. I'd appreciate it if you'd take me back to my chair now. I've been in this restaurant for ten minutes, and I've yet to be seated. Doesn't anybody sleep in this movie? It's like 10 in the morning now, for crying out loud. Uh, mind if I ask you a question? Just what the heck do you have to do with the plot, anyhow? It's a plot. Look, you, uh, did your good deed for the day. Sorry it didn't work out for either one of us. Yeah, he's gone for his ninja merit badge. If you're, uh, here to see the dancing, you're a little late. My sister Kelly's to put you. Uh, keep talking. I can't remember my lines. It must be tough. <laughs> what? Having a big sister that moves like an angel? It's a trip. I watch her every night. Oh, hey, that's your and business. It's, uh, <laughs> very vicarious. 
Correct term is physically challenged. Why are you here? I came to see your father. About a horse. Who are you? John Peter McAllister. John Jacob Jingle Heinrich Schmidt. That's my name, too. I'm Jill Patterson. The... Gim. Jeez. Oh, Handles gosh. are dangerous things. I know, love handles. And once you start walking, you won't be called a gimp any longer. Well, you shouldn't be calling her a gimp now, dickweed. Well, those steps did feel pretty good. Like I had weight on them, like I was putting one foot right in front of the other. That's pretty much the concept. Like I was walking, you know? Look that way. Ah, Jill, Jack uh, I... Uh, oh, Pop. There's someone here to see you. The Battle of the Turtlenecks. And Lee's not wearing one. You were very good with her. She'll walk up here first. On when she forehead. does that, you'll... You seem to have taken quite an interest in my family. You can't handle that protection thing by yourself. Not against those boys. What kind of skull wax do you use? They're more than just gangsters. They're even the tongue sect. They're ninja. I'll explain. Where's Kelly? Uh, at her day job. The master had sent me to protect Kelly. Over the correct building, Jim Jim Socks, no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was gonna do that! Timothy Van Patten <laughs> is hard to kill. Hey, the Keebler! Now, where's that sock? It's all crunchy. Huh? Excellent. I see that your master has found himself a pupil. They will attempt to be a worthy adversary. Hanger action slacks. That whole action suit there. That's for the White Shadow. I hated that show. And that's where eight is enough. Tell your dad. Well, now where's that suck? Nothing going on. Nothing at all. Hornet man. It's the people under the stairs. What a pity. Your lessons had to end so abruptly. Well, oh, maybe he can take his ninja equivalency exam and get a certificate. <laughs> DJ Truffleberries, try the V2s. Fractured right. ribs. Jeez, check out the Think chrome domes in this scene. Woo. Too fast. Couldn't move. No way you're gonna stop. <laughs> Hello, 1900 Dance Belt. Mr. Patterson. New Jersey? I regret the measures you forced us to take. However, I'm certain that after our initial misunderstanding, the business between us will be uh, gentlemen. You withdraw $20,000 from the bank today. I haven't got that kind of money to withdraw. Oh, some bonds cashed in, some, some shares sold. Yeah, well, some shares sold, yeah. A little austerity is good for the soul, Mr. Patterson. <laughs> Speak to your daughter, who is in good health. I'm a little scared. Mm. But that's only natural. Here, it's uh, for you, it's your dad. Daddy, there's a boy Daddy? outside. His name is Wang. I'm fine. Don't give him anything. Don't! No, at Daddy? least wait until they cut a chunk of my ear off. No harm will come to him. Because both you and I understand that you're going to cooperate. Yeah, cooperate. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and the man we saw in your club? He will leave San Francisco. You have until 3 o'clock this afternoon. But that's where my soap's on. I'll get the money. I know you will. <laughs> We will call your office at 3 o'clock. Please, don't disappoint me, Mr. Patterson. I so hate to be disappointed. Bye, sir. Hey, don't pad your part, Desi. Come on. Man, she cries at the opening of a bank. We'll find her. She's got to be somewhere in Chinatown, right? Many doors will be closed. Few will hear you. Mm -hmm. All you'll see in their eyes is fear. Because they know we'll search you from one end to the other. Not by three o'clock. Can you withdraw that kind of money? I'll have to put a lien on the club. Oh, what the hell? You tip it I over. Do it. I don't believe what I'm hearing. I do. We were just going to give in to them? Mm -hmm. Pay the ransom? Sell out? Is that what a real ninja would do? I'm not a real ninja, but Off I play screen. one on TV. Illusion. Give them what they expect and they'll believe it. What do we really do? Yep. The unexpected. I don't like this. They'll see us coming. Not if we send the right person. Jill, I need your help. All right, ready, guys? Yo! Hi, go! 
Go to Moscow Heights. <laughs> I'm Joe Robinson. And I'm Tom Servo. And I'm TV's wise cracking crow. And who can forget this lovable gag? It's my classic self-defense device for farmers. Numb clucks. Oh, <laughs> now that's a special memory, eh? Right. <laughs> now, in the spirit of today's movie, Master Ninja, we've come up with a whole gaggle of lovable chuck ideas. You see, we've taken the classic Japanese nunchaku or the bastardized American nunchuck and spun it Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, after all, what is a nunchuck but two things on a chain? Yeah. Right. Mm. So, for instance, a clumsy ninja would use these. Thumb chucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, also known as dumb chucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Oh, and uh, for Dominican ninjas who are dressed in black anyway, we offer nunchucks. <laughs> Benedict's yeah, got up. all the dominoes. Uh, Sorry, ladies. Ooh. But you know, uh, for meat lovers, they're going to flip over these classic ground chucks. <sighs> yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> right. Heat them up, eat them up, then summon the earl up with these up. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's drinking man? Fun. Junior at St. Cloud State? Hey, knock your friends on their sorry butts with a trendy Captain Morgan spiced rum chuck. I keep Ooh, up. Blow <laughs> the man down. Say, Crow, and speaking of butts, there's no better segue into my own butt chucks. <laughs> oh, that's on. that's now, a little that bit a rich. Little too oh, that's too Lighten up, you guys. It's just a couple of rubber gag butts. Jeez. Well, you know what? It's so easy. Why don't you write some Chuck ideas at home, as long as it's done tongue-in-cheek. Yeah, in <laughs> fact, uh, why don't you? Hey, mail your Chuck ideas to Chuck's Care of Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club, P.O. Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota, 55343. You'll be glad you did. Yeah. Maybe we'll read them on the air. Yeah, we're even going to help you get started here. For instance, you might call these Lammy Soft Weapons of Vengeance Chuck, Chuck Warries! <laughs> we'll be back in two minutes and two. It's Mrs. Ironside. <laughs> Tonight's episode, Tea House of the August Murder. Ooh, well, it's so. a good thing Chinatown's wheelchair accessible. Yeah, let's open it. Oh, uh, hi, I'm selling candy bars, mister, for my school marching band. Let me see the money. Will this ransom be cash or charge? $20,000, that's almost enough for a month's rent in San Francisco. Where's my sister? Safe. This is supposed to be an exchange. The money for Kelly. Your sister will be returned to you. Oh, uh, we sent a regular mail. It might take word. about a day. Oh, oh, he hit the assistant director. Ouch. If I could only get out of this chair. Hey, if we could only get out of this movie. Be glad that you can't. Hmm? Hop in. You'll have to throw that baby seat in the back. My wife's got the Cadillac. Hmm. Nice car. Oh, wait, looks like trouble with the transmission. You're next. Ninja Auto Mechanic in color. Da -da -da -da. Uh, what is the fool doing in their car? <laughs> oh, See that? What a dick we Until they fall for the unexpected. Hey. Oh, 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 bad idea. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, mister, your ninja's dragging. <laughs> Flubber! Now, how much would you pay for these patented Ginzu Ninja Grippers? Wait, there's more. What happened to his bad back? Oh, no, no, that was in the last episode. Uh, no, I mean mm -hmm. last half of the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I get the feeling everybody in this movie had a bad childhood. Uh -huh. I don't know, but... Uh, water! Uh, water! Anwar Sadat, in color. Stop that. It's fun. Yeah, they're really inconspicuous. Yep. Up. Can't just Can't blend it in. Way. Wait a minute. I had one of those in a goldfish bowl. Maybe that's the way in. 
It's a crazy idea, but it just might walk. I mean, work. Back in the mood. Though, like a jerk, he hangs under the truck and gets all. Something's happened to your friend. Not to him. You didn't even see him. That doesn't mean he wasn't there. Hi, I'm Jim Rockford. I'm not in right now, but. Yeah, it's phone, I'm almost certain. Charlie Patterson. Charlie Patterson, Charlie Patterson. Starring Pat Carroll. 20,000 is promised. You didn't disappoint me after all. When will my daughter be returned? Hey, you said we could have her till Wednesday. I understand from the bank you had to take out a lien on your club. Hmm. Too much of a financial strain in these hard times. Hey, blame it on Ronald Reagan. You'll sign the lien over to me. I will pay it. The club will then be mine, of course. Oh, but you must stay on. Ooh. The customers would be so disappointed. <laughs> if that's what it'll take to this bring my daughter like back. This sounds like extortion. Have it arranged by tomorrow morning. I'll be with you for lunch. I think it would be fun to run a nightclub. I think it would be fun to run a nightclub. <laughs> you stay here at the club and we'll both be back tonight. With Kelly. Not doing this alone. Mm -mm. No way. Let her up in her. Hmm. Hmm. I thought this was a partnership. Too dangerous. Well, that little chase of the streets this morning, you don't suppose that had just a small element of danger in it? What? What am I, a chauffeur? I told you, when you're ready. I'll tell you what I'm not ready for. I'm not ready to see Kelly killed. I'm not ready to see you go off into the sunset against mm -hmm. that pack of wolves. I'm not ready to be shot at, driven mm -hmm. at, or kicked in the face. And I'm not ready, I'm ready to, to take acting to lessons. Wall. But you are ready to get killed. Well, yeah. Have you around? How could you let that happen? I suppose you'd only follow me. Believe it. I believe it. You ready for your ninja robes? Are they as goofy as yours? Still working up to that. But I do have a black outfit. Seems in a turtleneck. How about a weapon? Hold it. No, not by the edge, no. It'll make you feel better. If you put it Just in the right place. I wouldn't think of it. Meanwhile, in downtown Fargo, Let's see. Oh, Beverly Sills. <laughs> you know, I've got the money, the club, and the girl, yet I feel empty. Why? Why? Bring the girl to me. I desire to discuss philosophy with her. Ninja bow and arrow sold separately. Shh. I knew he'd find a way to get me on a tightrope. Timothy Van Patten, master of the non sequitur voiceover. Hey, so it's working for a living in Shut up! 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 Mark Hostages, Foolish Choices, today on Oprah. I hear you're quite a performer. Hmm? Dance for me. Hmm. All right. I really want to direct. You're a dancer. Dance! Well, you're an actor. Act! Did you say dance? You don't mean it. Put your heart into it. <laughs> I want to get physical. Physical. <laughs> uh, 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 never mind. Do you write short stories, maybe? This is wild, I swear. I can't. I can't. We, we, know, know, we know. We know. Hey, who's the Arab woman? It's Lee. Oh, sorry. Good night, Mr. Chen. Wherever you are. Oh, low and away, ball one. Must be using selective gas. Yeah, so. It's all right. Kelly, we're your only chance out of here. There's only one way. My way or the highway. Ow. A high wire between the buildings. <sighs> I couldn't. You'll have to. Hey, you dance for strangers you can walk in a tightrope for me. Max, get the money. Sure thing, Mr. H. Hey, they spent 20 bucks of it for a pizza.
that a stunt man? Are you kidding? While they were filming this, Lee was in his trailer sipping a pina colada. No, I can't do this. Yes, you can. I'll help you. No, I can't. I can't do it. Take my hand. No! I'm a stranger in paradise. Come on, take it. I won't let you fall. Come on, take my hand! 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 Take my Witness, ladies and gentlemen. The witness. witness sketch. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the high wire above. <gasps> That's right. It's the Circus of the Second Rate Stars. Okay. Hey, listen to my voice. Slee! There's nothing below you. There's nothing around you. Water above you. You've got we no talent and you can't dance. So I step back, <laughs> you step forward. We come together because opposites That's it. attract. No, no. That's it. No, no. And you won't fall Jinx. unless I do. And I won't fall. They're up on the wire. Half is flame, half is fire. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Tension. Most don't look down. I didn't. I was so relaxed, I nodded off. Almost there. That's Melissa Sue Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a hand. Let's yeah. give her a warm round of applause. She's done a great job. <sighs> hey. Now it was my turn. To do another unnecessary voiceover. And I said the chances of tightrope walking in San Francisco were slim. With the master around, you could do it every night. How are the chances of falling? Yeah, just fall. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Bounce it. During the rope. During Noonan. the rope. Noonan. 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 Come on, Max. You can do it. If not, can I have your van? Don't look down. I have a wire Small cutter steps. on you. Hey, if he falls, are we going to have to watch his life path before his eyes? I don't think I can take it. Dad's first eight is enough. Callback. Brother Vince's first tennis lesson. Visits from Aunt Joyce the day he realized he was untalented enough to star in a primetime action show. Oh, uh, let's do it. Sorry. Rue, doing his rope. Almost there. Don't lose it. Do what they should have done in the first place and walk downstairs and go out the front door. Master. Osaka, hi. I haven't seen you since the first episode. I mean, that first part of the movie. They are of no concern to me. Or us. They can go. But not without these lovely parting gifts. Tell them about it, Johnny. You think I'm going to leave? Get her out of here. Uh, getting her out of here, sir. <laughs> go on. Go on. For crying out loud, you're free. You got 20 grand. Take her out for dinner. Hey, you got enough sticks in your drawers there? <laughs> Can you tell I'm sticking my tongue out at you? <laughs> nay, 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 nay. Uh oh, I just passed wind in my suit. I ask you as a point of honor, give me a second. A hand slice. Boy, Jackie Chan, he's not. He's not even Charlie Chan. He's not even Charlie Callis. No, he's not even Maria Callis. He's not even Maria Conchita Alonso. He's not even Chiquita Banano with the bungee to Just stop it. Just stop it. Yeah. Well, one thing's for sure. Uh, they both have more inner rage than they're willing to admit. Tumble out of bed and stumble in the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. Hey, what are they fighting over? The fryer exhaust at Arby's? Yeah, so. <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> You know, these Robert Bly weekends are getting more and more intense. You know, last week I made a big mistake. I went to a Carol Bly weekend. Oh, really? How? Oh. I left my liver in San Francisco. So these are Morris dancers gone horribly wrong. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Niagara Falls. Slowly I turned. Inch by inch. Step by step. Sir. And now, commence by keeping. Yeah, well, you fight like a Van Patten. Oh, that's not oh, fair man. in a fight. I just get done fighting Shazam. 
Jeepers. Hey, Shamir, don't you have a kid's party to go to or something? My friend, yeah. time for you to die. Well, that's great. Huh? Scarecrow and Mrs. King in color. Sorry, Scarecrow. Scare me. Lee, you know, even for you, that's pretty lame. Saved by the bell. TJ Trufflehoofers, try the Fintoozler. <laughs> Ninja Warrior! <laughs> <laughs> Oscar's back and he's wild as ever. <laughs> That's right. You know, I love a nice foppish dance. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is from my 1935 film, The Prancing Ninny. <laughs> hey, Lee, tuck in the shirt and suck in your gut. Or suck in your gut and tuck in your shirt. You know, Prince stole everything from him. Why? Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you know, they used to call me $3 Bill Bojangles Robinson, as a matter of... Hey, look, Pam Dauber's impressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, put a paw on the party. You think you moved great back then, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna show you the Charlie Patterson of the 80s. Hey, who died and made him Charlie, MC? Charlie, do a little step for us. No, not the goose step, no! Almost gave it away. Good, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Good, okay. great, great. Could you take your seat, Dad? Thanks. Charlie, I've got a birthday surprise for you. Well, a box of depends. Why, thank oh. you. I didn't know it. Next, on a very special Mrs. Ironside. Start walking toward your bald father. Hey, I bought that chair and you're gonna use it. Walking tenderly towards dad and pulling in his arm. Okay, Pop. I can stand on my own two feet. Now. Actually, dear, you're on my two feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You betcha. Uh, give me a new agent. This is a warm and tender made for TV moment. Oh. <sighs> and there it goes. Let's not get carried away. No. You're the hoofer. I knew at this game. Yeah, he was also in the Happy Hoofer Goes to Washington. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, did a noser. <laughs> Come on, everybody up and dance in front of her. Punch her well, a balloon. You Come can on, your spoiler spell. games. Do, 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 do. Hey, Joe, come on over here. Huh? No more onion rings for Lee. Oh. Look at that guy. Um... I talked to my friend Terry. Lee can throw his voice? She's not yep. your daughter. Well, I kind of figured a 60-year-old man with glasses wasn't my daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. If you kiss me, Van Patten, I'll kill you. Yeah. Oh, he's dancing with Ziggy Stardust. Hmm? Michael Sloan, shame, shame on you. you. Indeed. That's for sure. Ah. Well, well, at least we can enjoy another Film Ventures International credit sequence, oh, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's what Film Ventures International is famous for, like the Pink Panther and the James Bond credit sequence. Yeah, you know, that was kind of a weird movie. First Demi Moore and Claude Akins were there, then halfway yeah. through they disappeared. Joel, when mysterious. are you going to stop living a lie? That. This was not a movie. It was a bunch of episodes strung together. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Didn't you guys are cynical. That. Oh, yeah, you are you're cynical. Yeah. Oh, we should get out of here, really. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Was well, fun though, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. At first. And we're gonna miss that part. You know, Joel, going into this experiment, several things were a given. One, it had a Van Patten in a prominent role. Two, it was made for TV. 
three, it had a Van Patten in a prominent role. But I had no idea it would be this bad! Yeah, really. I mean, if you look at some of the other 13-episode action shows from that era, like yeah. Manimal, uh, yeah. Misfits of Science, Super Train... Oh, I like that one! It was pretty good. Uh, Tales of the Gold Monkey. They oh, were sir. all insipid, yet clearly superior to this piece of junk! Well, guys, <gasps> take it easy. The best way to beat those made-for-TV blues is to start your own funk fusion TV action band, okay? So, Crow, Sorry. I want you to start out on the drums. Come on. Oh, oh okay. Hey, hey, get me. I'm a L.A. studio musician. <laughs> Come on. Let me throw in a little wall. Gypsy. Okay. 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 Put that up on Still Star, will ya? Master Ninja theme song. Okay. We, the officers of the Battleship Missouri, wish to congratulate you on the quality programming you are injecting in the Master Ninja theme song. Fiber optic veins of our nation. While in the Persian Gulf during Operation Desert Storm, we often felt as you must. Master Ninja Thief song trapped in a steel box with little or no contact with the outside world yet engaged in important and dangerous work. Master Ninja Thief song. Ow! As comrades, we salute you. We spend many off our duty hours enjoying your show to help repay you for the pleasure given us. Master Ninja Thief song. We would like to do something for you. Some of us are engineering by profession and would like to offer our assistance and Designing, manufacturing, service arms. Master Ninja theme song, your torso. Let us know if you want any special features such as death lasers or detachable radio control fingers. We eagerly await your plot. Master Ninja theme song. What do you think, sir? Oh, oh, oh. Very nice, Joel. Uh, downright funky. <laughs> Isn't that right, Doctor? I had jello today. <laughs> After Steve died, God sent him back as a blonde. Now, a guy who used to use women is finding out firsthand that was no way to treat a lady. Ellen Barkin, see Blake Edwards' newest comedy. Switch. Have a nice day. Jimmy Smith's Rated R starts Friday, May 10th at a theater near you. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Tom 
Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. This is my improv group. Anyone for more fruitcake? We're from Chicago. And we do improv, which is known as instant theater. We make, we make up our own play right before your living, breathing eyes. Okay, now I need a volunteer suggestion from the audience. Uh, uh, you're you're alone, aren't you? What? Uh, some kind of love connection screw up over there? <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, now, could you just give a suggestion for a place where Tom and Crow could meet? Uh, yeah. Cream of wheat. Cream of wheat. Okay, uh, uh, I can see that. Okay. Forget that now, so many times. I need a suggestion for something that uh, Tom and Crow could do so, together that would be appropriate to do in front of the Pope or your mother. Okay, so please keep. Yeah. Peter Gabriel. Peter Gabriel. Okay, you're at yeah. Cream of Wheat and you're about to what? do Peter Gabriel. Okay, now one last thing. I need a uh, name of a celebrity, okay? Yeah. Anger. Anger, okay? You're uh, at Cream of Wheat with Peter Gabriel and Anger walks in. Okay, go. Uh, hi, Peter Gabriel. Hello, want some Cream of Wheat? No, I don't want Cream of Wheat. Freeze! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Five seconds. I think, I think that, that was the worst improv I've ever seen. You should have gone to your where. Oh, you negated me. No, I didn't. Don't. What I was trying to do was become a potato on stage, and you didn't let me be that potato. Now, you see, I didn't get that. I thought you were a hedgehog. No, you didn't yes and each other, and exactly. you forgot to go back well, to your where oh, when you were doing that hedgehog yeah, thing. Exactly. I wasn't a hedgehog. I was clearly a potato. <laughs> I was asking to be fried in hot oil. What kind of a hedgehog would be fried in hot oil? Just oh. cool if the uh, bad boys in the basement are calling. Now we're going to do a structure called Man in the Street. Certainly is warm today, Frank. It's cold. You know what they say about Chicago. Say, is that Millie Vanilli? Frank! I am not Spock. Frank, go get strapped into this week's invention exchange. Okay, Dudley. Well, Joel, I'm going to come right out and say it. I really like buffet dining, although it can be a dream come true. Sometimes it's quite tiring. That's why we've invented the new conveyor belt buffet. Swiss steak, Frank? Oui, oui, monsieur. How about some southern baked ham? I've always depended on the kindness of caterers. Juice? Mmm. -hmm. What about mashed potatoes? Mashed enchantment. And for those of you who like truly fast food, some, you've never seen food some this of, fast no, I'll just, before. I'll just have some, and then I'll take a little, and then I'll, with the, and, ah! Well, Joel, not only have we invented the world's fastest buffet, we've invented a Lucy sketch. Back to you, Desi Lou. Yes, your grouchiness is, sir. This week we've got a green experiment that's based on those New Age pioneer friends over in Biosphere 2. And it uses a power source that's available in just about any home in the USA, and that is the gerbil. Or a smallish hamster, either one. Right, exactly. And uh, what this is is a totally self-contained, self-perpetuating biosphere environment for the gerbil of the not-so-distant future. I like to call the gerbil sphere, too. Okay, you want to take it part way there, Tom? Sure thing, Joel. Now, the central element in our holistic environment is the common running wheel. As our furry pioneering friend turns the wheel, the log here is propelled through the wood lathe, resulting in, of course, the wood chips down below that you see, right. which encourages the gerbil or hamster to uh, poop. Right, <laughs> and, and that fertilizes the... The uh, field of alfalfa, right. which we see here, the sprouts growing at just the proper rate to keep the gerbil nourished, but not obese. Dr. Crow? Uh, yes. Uh, now, every three years, we will rotate in some soybeans. Uh, we didn't do that originally and accidentally destroyed all the topsoil. Oops. <laughs> and, uh, of course, another minor problem with our perfect system is that the CO2 released by the alfalfa can at times combine with certain undesignated elements causing an uncontrolled <laughs> thunderstorm in the 
upper reaches of the perfect but, system. But we have installed the air cleaner up here that we believe will rectify the CO2 condition, uh, which we must remind you is only sporadic and which we do not believe interferes in any significant way with the wholeness or perfection of our system no, here. No. You know what? There's so much uh, butts, torque involved with this... Uh, this little running wheel, I, uh -oh. I I have a feeling we're going to need a gerbil that's at least 20 pounds, so to put in 23. Our, yeah, our people are working on it. Uh, yeah. We have a, I think it may be a motor. <laughs> Seems like kind of a jib. Well, we're going to do a structure called yes and. Oh, Frank, I'm going to jab this ice pick into your eye. Yes and, that will cause pain and I make a comment on contemporary mores. <laughs> good, good, be in the moment. <laughs> okay. Well, Jolie, uh, your experiment this week is kind of like a spastic road picture. It stars Lee Van Cleef and Timothy Van Patten, and it's called Master Ninja 2. Yes, and it's really bad. <laughs> Hit the button, Frank. Well, you improv that whole thing, didn't you? That was really instant theater. I love it. Oh, no, he's dead! Oh, 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 Spotlight on the Black Moses of Soul. Feel like a hand on the run. <laughs> oh, it's Lady's Laundry Night. <laughs> Master Ninja. <laughs> Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. <laughs> oh, it's a Lee Van Cliffhanger. Lee Van Cliff. Lee Van Cliff. Walk like an Egyptian conka chong. Ah, Timothy Van Patten, the great Dutch ninja. <laughs> Is this a karate movie? Oh, I think it's the Blue Man Group. Oh, no, look, it's Catfish Hunter warming up. That's what it looks like. There's no Kasugi like show, Kasugi like no Kasugi I know. Yeah. Wait a second. Hi, I'm Max Keller. I have fallen arches. I just spend my morning's tightrope walk. Now I'm a marathon runner. Huh. Go figure. Dodge trucks, round off. You know, I sometimes wonder if being a ninja is going to be with Crystal Bernard my Persuasion. Ooh. What a dope. Keep running! Oh, Joe Boston. He only puts out one movie every ten years. <laughs> That's really bad. Thank you, Michael Sloan. I can't believe you. I can't understand you. I started ten minutes before you. You're not even winded. I'm winded. From driving. You hide it well. I'm having a heart attack. Lower the heart rate. Drop the respiration. Slow everything down. Make big the money at home. Steps. Thought I was in shape till I met you. It'll come. A heart attack? Any second. When you have to run the four men a mile, you'll do it. You'll be a Henson rat like me. I don't think running's my long suit. I'll stick to wheels. At least you don't ride bikes. Doodly, doodly, doodly. I can't believe I'm riding a bike! Oh. It's been a long time since I rock and roll. Get ready to watch the ace, old fella. Huh? <laughs> I love buddy films. This is just like the last Boy Scout. Really? <laughs> that sounds like Chicago Transit Authority. Do not take the green acid. Hey, look, it's Francis Ford Coppola. Sunny afternoon here in Clearwater. Have a great day for racing. So I come around the last turn like a flyer. Bam, right across the finish line. Wait a minute. Where did he get that? Thing? Look, I admire your confidence, but if for some reason or another you should lose, easy money. Hang on to Henry for me, will you? He loves the straightaways, but he hates the turns. Anybody catch what he said? Nope, not a word. We've got entrants from all over the country. All over the Max world. Keller will be here, winner of last year's race. Mm -hmm. oh, Chad Webster, Bill Howard, and Terry Brown representing the Canners. Uh oh, oh. here the come world. the no good Nicks. Yep. Why me? Why me all the time? Hey, look, it's Malcolm X. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> you got a problem, pal? Yeah, man, I don't like your face. Yeah, well, you're a jerk. Good one. Want to keep all those teeth? Check out, Jack. Max. Stay out of this. I can handle it. It's me, Of course, me that mug of yours might be a challenge. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I just injected him with blowfish poison. Oh, Max, 
Keller. <laughs> Still seeing right, that, German. How German. you doing? Look who retired. I can do that, brother. Besides, busting up towns ain't cool anymore. Hmm? They must have gone to speech I class together. I find you here. <laughs> you any better with that bike of yours now? I always beat you, didn't I? Okay, good. Hey, Hawk, this is the ma uh, McAllister. Uh, this is my McAllister. elderly gentleman Hawk, friend. Best biker around. Nice. Kind of so why do you call you a hog? That's good advice. Ebony <laughs> and Ivory. Oh. Okay. Hey, I got walnuts in there. He's starting up the guy's hand. That thing hasn't worked sure in years. Thank you. Here some good luck. Yeah, thanks. See you later, hog. Uh, nice meeting you, Mr. Pig, was it? Uh, oh, hog. Uh, that's it. Oh, nice company you keep. Ah, he's a pussycat. What'd you do to him anyway? Oh, just being friendly. Hope he can still hold the handlebar. Oh, let's see you for the champagne at the finish line. I'll uh, pick up some cedar chips for Muffy. Hey, hey, easy on the dribble, Lee. Hey, whoa. Things are not what they seem, Lee. Big crowd today. We appreciate that, folks. Always great to see you. Uh, Bring believe me, it's really a big crowd. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of fun out here today. You're gonna see some great bike racing. Hi. Looks like the camera lost interest hey, in Timothy. Yeah, I can see that. What do you want? Isn't that the uh, kid who won last year? I don't remember. I don't, I don't like know. him. Well, tell him. I'm not interested. You are so tough. It's familiar. You know, one of these days, that mouth of yours is gonna get you in a lot of trouble. I... And you what? Take a walk, Webster. Listen, it's lady. Don't you. Tongue. This racetrack is one place in this town you don't know. Yeah, it's you can push me around the cannery, That's... but out here, you gotta beat me fair and square. Ooh, she's a little spitfire. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're too gutless to try without your daddy's money to back you up. Pearl drops. Mm. <laughs> it's a red fest. Just a few more seconds before the gun goes off. All jockeying for position. They all look so good. There's the gun, and they're off. Jack go, Charlie, Charlie Brown, go! Max Keller is right behind him. Then I can see Big Jim Stevenson. Big Jim Stevenson? And there's Linda Ronstadt behind him on roller skates. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, there's a pile up. Doesn't look as if anybody's hurt. Oh, we can dream, can't we? <laughs> Racing gets pretty rough. Nice PA. Oh. William Cat, pretty Mercury. Oh. Ooh. Nine of the ten racers have pulled away now, leaving the pack behind in a cloud of dust. It's going to be a close finish. Here's my favorite. Nothing like enjoying nature on a screaming crotch rocket. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Looks like Tony Scott directed. Yeah. <laughs> this week on Then Came Bronson. <laughs> Here they are. Hey, he's breaking into somebody's van. Human speed bomb. Oh, my seven tenths of a second. Hey, you all right? What's the matter with that guy? I'm all right. She lives. She lives. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Max, I lost the hamster. Okay? okay? Yeah, she's okay. She won the race. Even Ali lost a few. Yeah, but never to a girl with a shag haircut. <laughs> well, okay, once. Nice race. Never lost it before. Could I carry your well, bike home? Shame about your bike. Guys play rough around here. Yeah, no. Ooh. You're pretty good. You almost beat me. Ooh. That was the idea. So, uh, how about a little victory party? I got a dribble. At least dinner. Well, um, I have to work the early shift tomorrow, and I don't even know you. So, okay. You don't have to buy me dinner. I was thinking you might. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you won all my prize money. I'll think it over. <laughs> oh, gee, that could have got better. Well, I didn't want her anyway. I'm not used to seeing them walk away from you. Usually they run well, screaming. Lose one? 
to lose another. Good-looking girl, though, isn't she? But does your ninja discipline make you immune to such things? There are certain yearnings one does not want to overcome. Besides, I took a chair can wheel in the whipper once. Come on, boss. Oh, is there going to be a boat race? Hmm. It's a secret meeting of all those people who want this show canceled. Don't grab a leaflet, please. Come Fist Tuesday with Sylvester Tuesday. Stallone. Oh, uh, it's a Clifford Odette play. No, a Tom oh. Odette play. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Hey. Still at it, huh, Gary? I don't quit, Harold. Ozzie Davis? Yeah. Hey, Pippi Longstock. Another meeting? You bet. Tomorrow afternoon. And we're counting on you, Annie. We just need a few more signatures. Sure, sure. When are you going to let me take your dancing, Jerry? When oh, Welcome Back know. Cotter is canceled. <laughs> you sign this petition, we'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> Come on, Max. I know she rejected you, but we've got to try again. Well, this is it. What? Clear water canner. Sure is dirty. The nerve center of the city, such as it is. Bring it over here! Hey, don't you ever say please? You know, if I hadn't lost that race, we wouldn't be broke. Max. Mm -hmm. I could figure I could pick up a couple of days' work here and put us back on schedule. Back. Don't we know that box? Bring it down. Hmm. That does it, Flintstone! Uh -oh. Right on my head, that's it. <laughs> I think they may just be too dumb to organize you again. Who killed my sister? <laughs> Sorry, it's my first day. <laughs> Let's see. Run this in the claw machine at the carnival. That'll work. The right tool for the right job, Lee. Stanley. <laughs> oh, my rheumatism! Oh, oh, excellent, Master Dipstick. That's $50,000 worth of merchandise, Lee. Forget it. When they issue this equipment they're using, they're in the depression. <laughs> it's great. We can it's joke like about it now that his hips are crushed. It's not in their interests. Oh, 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 don't move me up! <laughs> hey, it's Chico Marx. Oh. Hey, there's Lucy. Ah, Ricky, I got toe man. Ah. Everybody works here. Does the president work here? Dinner tonight. Okay. Um, why don't you meet me at the seaside shanty buddy? What are these tongue twisters? Do you make a fun of me? Or do you think you can find it? <laughs> I'll see you later. Wilford Brimley, Here? safe cracker. Did they tell you what happened out there? Mm hmm? You! You only got Joe Henderson killed. You! Rotting equipment. Now, Carrie! Yeah, now's right. Now we're gonna do something. I'm the Joe walrus. Really out there hauling uh, I think. Boxes? Yeah. He's too old. There are plenty of other jobs he can do. Not that one. Look, his chin is acting. Happen around here before someone takes an interest. When we get a union. I've told you, you better drop that union talk. <clears throat> it's just gonna get you more trouble than you want. Like it did my brother. Don't no, start again. Sorry, my heart blew up again. Brother being done in by the cannery. Grow no. up, Carrie. You brother Dad? just up. Uh oh. It's split. Let it go. No more. No less. <laughs> What'd you expect? The time you get working on the line here? Oh, I remember when you were working on the line, so don't play that with me. You're not that smart, but I am. And that worries cool. me, didn't it? I know something's going on around here. And when I find out what it is, I bet it's gonna lead me right back here to you. She's got a Lander sister quality. Mm -hmm. Don't even think about it. Guess she won't get her Christmas hand. We're not putting up with this. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Ralph, I told you before I want that girl fired. You think I don't want her out of my hair? You listen to me, Chad Webster. You got a couple of things to learn about running this cannery. <clears throat> Since your dad ain't around to tell you, I will. We fired <laughs> Gary Brown, and you won't get anybody in this town to work here. Nobody. They love that girl. I'm telling you the next time she causes trouble. The very next time. Mm -hmm. Bet I could eat that guy. Yep, I know it.
positive. All right, no tell, no tell. Good looking, too. You're lucky shaving his one hair. You should have care that accent down by the water there, didn't you? I think he cut through his vocal cords or something. Just flip that little gadget and bam, the whole thing goes into the drink. Boy, that Gideon writes a good novel. Hmm. I'm the floor of an adult movie theater. That's what I was saying. Old guy like that shouldn't have to work that hard labor. What, at least snap a cyanide capsule in his mouth? The strength of centuries, right? So, Zay, what time is it? Joe, where's some of your clothes? I'm out of here soon. I am so fine. <laughs> What's the matter? The bed too comfortable for you? Hmm? You all right? Yeah, God, don't do this. <laughs> hey, he sounds like a recessa Annie. It looks like a recessa. Whatever happened to... Baby Jane. It's time to get up. What happened to you? I thought you had a heart attack. I was still. You stopped breathing. You have to breathe. The heartbeat, like everything else, can be controlled. Hmm. I just slowed it down. You slowed it down? You stopped it. Go all the way next time. Only in appearance. <laughs> the same technique that allows a Zulu warrior to chase a running gazelle for 50 miles... On a pogo stick. ...and still have the strength for the kill. Swell. I believe you can do it, okay? Just don't do it again. You scared the hell out of me. That's okay. Oh, that was nice. We go. go. Well, I see you're ready to this go. This one stings. I think I am. Stopping his heartbeat. Well, since today's movie features Timothy Van Patten's rock and custom van, so predominantly in the movie, we thought it'd be fun for the robots to get some pens and pencils and make their versions of their favorite 70s machines, okay? So this one's Gypsy. You want to tell everybody about it? Do it, Gypsy. Hey, Joe, looks like a lunchbox you used yeah. to have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to show the inside, too? And on the inside are 150 Richard Basehart ventriloquist dummies stacked like cordwood. Ooh, shades oh. of Jamie Gum. Jeepers. Oh. Okay, well, this one looks like yours, Tom. You yeah, want to yeah, tell them about my, it? Mine's next. Well, the exterior of my van would be based on the work of fantasy illustrator Frank Frazetta, custom painted at Fantastic Studios in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, and insured for over $1,200. Then the interior, show them the interior. It's really cool. It'd be painted just like the Sistine Chapel inside, only it'd be real dirty, you know. Plus, it'd have a water bed and a fireplace slash bar and an in-dash lotion dispenser. And if I dented it up, I'd spend six weeks in the shop class or at Harv Speed Shop. That's what we used to call it when I was there. And we'd just sand it and put Bondo on it. And I wouldn't go to any of the classes. And at lunch, Clem and I would get in, a, get in the van and leave campus, go downtown and have a beer at the Shire. Yeah, it would be really cool. <laughs> okay, and this next one's... Uh... Crows? Uh, well, my van would have an ergonomically designed desk and chair, plus a shelf for all my reference material, and my computer, and a good, reliable reading lamp, and I'd pack an extra pair of glasses and some sensible shoes, and a cooler full of ice-cold Coke, Diet Coke, and ice-cold mineral water. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what about the uh, exterior there? Uh, I'd have a Ed, Big Daddy, Don Roth, do a mural of me with my eyes popping out, pulling my tongue dragging, and big old Ooh. Nile and a giant stick shift, putting it in the six on the side of my machine. Would read like it was written in blood. The van died. Yeah, woo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. We've got oh. commercials. Oh. So I found myself in another it's bar. It's Ed Big Daddy but Roth Crow. Oh. Learned my lesson. My name was don't worry. Not leaving this bar's little window. That is one good-looking union organizer, eh? Hey, Sandy, I don't want you serving Terry. Why not? Because I said so. I don't want you serving. Chad, what's the what problem? Want your job? Do what I told you. Okay. Evening, everybody. Warm! Oh, but you didn't drink. I don't break up dates, either. Unless she gets to be too much for you. It's brave talk for a man who's hot on this stuff. I didn't stop. It slowed down. Hey, look on the wall. It's Milton Berle's netted slingshot briefs. <laughs> I'm here. Is this your card? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, Max, a long day. I hear you. You're a wry wit. Aren't these people phony? You guys passing through? You're talking to me? What does it look like? 
Well, you do have that funny eye. You and the hotshot kid over there, now that he's lost the race, I guess you'd be leaving town. What's it to you? Drives the plot. Well, this is a tight community. We take care of our town. I don't think the lady wants you to take care of her. That's why the lady is a tramp. You got a hearing problem? My hearing is excellent. Because I have the Whisper 2000. Move it or lose it. I haven't heard that since grade school. You just be sure lover boy is on his way out of town. I love that band. Yeah. I'll deliver the message. <laughs> you do that. Can I have a quarter? You got a light? Yeah, my butt in your fit. Oh, well, that's not right. Flip on! Hmm. What's the head it turned up to, boy? What is that, a cigarette lighter or a flamethrower? It's a cigarette lighter and a flamethrower. Good to be seeing you. Yeah, right, in all the old familiar places. Uh, let's all. Is this still on you? You bet. Some menus, please. Sure. Can we, can we have some more lighting over here, too? Excuse me. You can get the lady a menu. I can't serve her. What do you mean you can't serve? She's Please, off the menu. Don't start any trouble. Well, how about if I do? Ooh. I just decided dinner's on me tonight. Say. But I'm really hungry. Mm -hmm. Come from a long line of big eaters. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. Uh, you like seafood? You bet. Mm -hmm. Halibut? Yes. Yeah. Me too. Seafood. Two halibuts. No, I'm really hungry. Two baked potatoes. Wow. Sour cream and chives? Only on one. Yeah, What's Tim, go, man. Order, man, buddy. Ooh. Beers. Rave on. Thirsty. And, um... Finish it off, I'll have a couple of apple pies with ice cream on the top. Yeah. And a pot of coffee. That should just about do me. And uh, two hard-boiled eggs. Make that three hard-boiled eggs. Oh, now you can't serve me either. Look, Carrie, it's not me. I... Uh oh, oh it's Dave Lennox. Lennox. Yeah, it looks like Annie. I'm trying to order dinner for the lady here. <laughs> nah. Maybe you had to order someplace else. I won't be needing all of this. Huh? We have bus boys for that. We're famous for our chops. Yeah, give me a bread basket. Yeah? Well, how's your punch? <laughs> Tim, this is for the seafood lover in you. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> what a loser. I'm gonna break myself with this habit. <laughs> it's our bats. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like Hooper. Yeah, or uh, Kenny Rogers and Six Pack. Oh, or E.T. Oh, wait. Hey, I'm on the phone to the coast here. Okay, half pepperoni, half mushroom. Go get her. Hi, you come here often? Uh, wait. Ooh. Oh, I must have hit a springboard. <laughs> uh, Grandpa Ned just saves the day. Ah, uh, what is he, Obi frickin' Juan Kenobi? Uh -oh. My brother worked at the cannery for four years. My brother lived in Florida. He a lot of trouble. And then he just disappeared. Well, see, that's not in character at all. <coughs> Gerbil not check. someone who, <laughs> who cared enough to raise me alone all those years. My parents were killed in an accident. That's nice. My brother was just that close to putting a union in that cannery. Then he became the president of Poland. Mm -hmm. I know that this must sound real crazy to y'all. But I eat light bulbs. You don't know what a hole that Chad Webster has on this town. You're saying Webster killed your brother? Emmanuel yeah, Lewis killed her brother? Take a left right here. Did you go to the police? Yeah. But just, there's just no proof. Hmm. Just a lot of things that don't add up to anything else. Oh, trigonometry, of course. A thousand missing persons report. Then and I found my nails. That. How many others? Four. They'd all been working at the cannery for years. All friends of my brother's. All troublemakers. And they're all here tonight on Devil Tales. Gone. Greener pastures. Uh, what did you say? I was thinking about I my tongue. I know that they didn't just leave. You know you're boring when you're boring it. of Ann Patton. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. Oh, uh, you want to pop in a but tape? I'm gonna prove it. This is the house is on the left. Just keep saying to yourself, it's only a movie. Last house. Oh, just uh, just park in the middle of the street and uh, leave the lights on. No problem. We deliver union organizers overnight. I'm free! Thank you. Are you sure there's nothing we can do to help? No, there's nothing you can do. But thank you. Good night. Right. night. Tim, you're an idiot. That's some lady, huh? No, oh, that's my wife. Too bad we can't help her. Listen, pal. You think I'm walking away from her? Uh -oh. Webster, the cannery, or this town? You're, you're absolutely right. Let's get out of here. 
Guess you figured that out already, huh? We've been told to get out of town. By who? Try a guess. Webster? Good guess. No, Webster? We're not leaving. Nobody's running me out of town. <laughs> We're not leaving. <laughs> Figure something out. That's what I was afraid of. Boom! Boom! Thank you for I flying Northwest. Day. Enjoy your stay in Fargo. Dan, how's that baby? Haven't had it yet. Annie, what's going on here? Nobody's talking to Susan me. Susan Sarandon. Hmm. Boss says you're trouble, Carrie. No one wants to be caught speaking to you. What, are they going to sing Matchmaker now? <laughs> I'm really like sorry. It. But you're going to the meeting this afternoon. Oh, it's you're like going to that meeting. Not with us. Hi, Frodo. Hi, Axel. Hi, Divine. It's really good today. Mm -hmm. mm. No meat. What's weird is that mm. this is a Chrysler plant. Oh, I don't know what all this meat is doing. Hey, Huey Lewis. And a whole pie. Uh, uh, you want anything? Mm. I don't need to tell you what happened last night, do I? Carrie Brown is more trouble than her brother, and I can't afford to waste any more time on her. The lights are on, but Fatty's not home. I'm about this town. I know she's a problem, but I think... Don't start thinking, Mr. Mm. Carter. I wouldn't worry about that. I'm telling you, there's something weird about this old man she's been talking to. He makes me nervous. And the kid is a troublemaker. Hmm? But if Carrie Brown isn't around, then there's no trail for him to follow. Is this a limerick? And he just drift on to the next town. Like the wall of China. You can't start something like that. Not start something like that. Hooker's a good Carter. cop. finishing what has to be done. Give me a kiss. There's nothing for you to think about. Well, uh, what about lunch? You're going to hang around for that pizza? Let's make sure you're available tonight. He asked me, I'll wear that strapless Ed Asner. He's gonna blow! Look out! Oh. Grinsburg, Wisconsin. Workers chafing <laughs> under the spiked heel of capitalism. I read the seafood plate. <laughs> My wheels, let me spin them. Hmm? There's gotta be some way to help you. Maxie's people won't even talk to me. They say I'm trouble. Maxie Priest? There was supposed to be a meeting this afternoon, but I'll be sitting alone. Oh, yeah? What kind of meeting? A union meeting. Oh, they're gonna There's have gonna cookies? There's gonna be any meeting or any union. Get out of my cannery. So, you're canning her. Oh, How okay. ironic. <laughs> you wanna take a vote on that, Webster? Oh, uh, Max, this is a cannery. <laughs> We've got a lot of people working here. I say they outvote you 100 Look for one. the Something union fight. label. Come on, everybody. Come, ahead, you're by. Come on, Pete Seeger. Come on, Weavers, join in. Take it down Come on, again. Woody. <laughs> Can't stop people from meeting and talking. I told you to get out. Throw me out. Mm. Loud talk doesn't scare anyone. Old Black Eyes is meeting. back. You should attend. It's your future, too. My hero. Mine, too. <laughs> Not knowing that none of what I've said this afternoon is oh, new to anyone. Oh, she's an Alpha Omega. We hate them. Goodness, most of y'all have been working here much longer Marvel than Trump's. I have. Your mothers and your fathers worked here. Dominoes for Biscom, everyone. <laughs> but now we have to make a change. To make a life for us. For your kids. Now I've got a petition here for the union. And I need 40 more signatures. So let's see a show of hands. I lost my hand in a fish chopper. Hmm. <laughs> Studs charcoal not working. All this? Hmm? Hey, Carrie? Well, Tarly, um... <clears throat> I have heard the stories of the I, thuggy cult. I can't afford to give up one day's pay, let alone a paycheck. None of us can. Howard Johnson's right. You know where my family's at, Carrie. At the trailer Before park at the edge of town. Until Bill gets his health back. Delta Burke? I tried applying for a job at your cannery today. Couldn't get in. I have no Don't marketable they? skills. I'm not surprised, though. Working conditions there are so great. Anybody up at stand him? him? How much? $300? Yeah, hey, he's doing stand up. He's working the crowd. Time. Looking forward to your children going to college? Because it's not going to be easy on the salary you're making. But when the cost of living increases hmm? coming every year, that'll make things a whole lot easier. I don't know why Carrie's bothering to rock the boat for you people. You're doing just he's fine. He's speaking in tongues. <laughs> you get paid what they want to give you, you work the hours they tell you. Clock in and punch out right on time. Their time. Hey, time is truly a subjective phenomenon, Tim. Harry's waiting for a show of hands. She isn't going to get one. 
Should we have a silent vote? Big brother isn't watching you. He's got you right in his hip pocket. <laughs> no, I don't have a problem with if that. If you ask me, you're <laughs> all getting exactly what you deserve. We didn't ask. Now everyone take out your hymnal. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired too. We feel confident, secure. Attica, 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 Attica. Hmm, Tahitian treat. Mm -hmm. Hope the meeting didn't start yet. Boy, it's good. <clears throat> Ooh, gassy. Oh, hi. What's up, gang? You took the last Tahitian treat, old man. Jimmy Carl Black. No, it's Sean Phillips. And Tim Robbins. It's been to church. Your young friend missed his vocation. Should have been an evangelist. Too much like acting. He does <laughs> have a way with words. They're not in the right order. But... Good. Or you. You're leaving, Clearwater. You're very nosy, right, kitty man. cat. What we do to nosy people? You're not going to get out of this one, pal. Thank you, crotch rocketed friend. Don't forget to say hello, Ma! Okay, we'll just follow you to the party then. How long did you fit on one of these? Long time. Feels good. Must be the new seat covers. They hit Mr. Bobo! Oh, no! I don't know if you can enjoy the experience all that much. Lean into it. Sunday at Great Lakes Dragway in Union Grove, Wisconsin! Mighty Mites with Action Traction. <laughs> Lean into it. A garden weasel. Ooh, where did he have that? Haikiba. Huzzah. Ooh. He's up the ramp. What ramp? Hair blowing in the wind. I call it. Well, I saw that in the maple floor before. Oh. <laughs> um, why don't they just turn right? No, I'll harm you. No, no. Hey, hey, I just wanted to tell you, you got a tail light out. Gee. He's got a licorice whip. Mm -hmm. Yippee I A Tie Cowboy Tay. What'd you learn that one? Motorcycle school. You're cute. That'll happen. Yeah. Where's Carrie? Had a union meeting. We better get to her tonight. It's Pop Lock. We got him in a dish. <laughs> Lee? Oh, Lee. Lee. Here, boy. Oh, oh couldn't you, you stay in the van? Safety. We were right. Harry? Harry Look, it's Matt. a medieval house. They varnished my house. You all right? What's happened? <laughs> oh my God. I felt like this when I came home. But it disconnected my cable and I hooked up my stereo room. They've torn my place apart. Nice flat. <clears throat> my apartment, I mean. It'll be okay. We won't let them get you. Hey, look, Ignatz right. was here. Huh. Stop. Oh, Bill Keen ransacked the apartment. Mm. Oh. Or Billy did it. Billy did it. I know they killed my brother. And now they're after me. <clears throat> How about a little sugar for Grandpa? Nobody's been harmed. Leave it to us. Oh. Well, that's what do we do now? Be brave, girl. Well, brave anyway. Stir everything up and I can't handle it. They've warned you, okay? Now it's up to us. We're gonna nail Webster for good. You just sit tight. They won't be back. I won't let the seniors beat up on you anymore, honey. Ooh. Ugh. You kiss better than the union boss. Oh. Oh. 
Dr. Pepper lip gloss. Mm. Mm. <laughs> He's not getting back in. Then came Bronson, the van years. You go to the police. And tell them what? The Webster tried to run the us over the road. Hmm? Now, where's the proof? Webster and all those cannery workers will have an alibi for this afternoon. Got to find something on him. If what Carrie says is true, <clears throat> if they did kill her brother, most people don't cover their tracks as well as they think they do. They should wear long sleeve shirts. Maybe there's something to can. Yeah. When? Tonight. Tonight? Oh, I was going to watch my dad's show. Glaucoma Theater. Ooh. Oh, there. <clears throat> yeah. Looks like the set for Graffiti Bridge. Oh, I think it's a Janet Jackson video. Yep, uh, Rhythm Nation. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lee, I, I don't There's think you're invisible, you know? Or swell. Hmm? Wait, he just climbed into the basement. What's going on? Hey! Yeah. Ah, four dollars an hour for this crap. Yeah. Too easy. Uh oh. You would have to climb into a security guard warehouse. Oh, thanks for the help, Lee. I stopped for a Heath bar. Want a bite? Hmm. Let's see. Where are we in the script now, Tim? They're selling fake term papers. Oh. Names, lists of names. Let's see here. Bag of quick lime, three foot gray, red marker. Murdered at Old Point. And, uh, the date that he disappeared. Hmm. Old Point. Whatever hmm. that is. It's a beer, isn't it, or something? Claude is involved too. Right, go on. Hmm. Decided to protect hmm. himself. By hiding his emotions. You know all that website doesn't even know about these files? Let's get him over to the sheriff's office. Hey, hold it steady there, Gyps. Come on. General Timothy Van Patten! Be seated. Now, I want you to remember... That no babasturb ever wob a war by dibbing for its comedy. He won it by making the other poor dumb babasturb dib for its comedy. You whack me with your writing crop, Crow. Ah, you love it. You know you do. Webster, Zell at Cannery. We had a break in. Uh, they were dressed as plumbers. Ah, uh, the young kid. The one that's been hanging around here. Van Patten, something or other. Oh, no, not this again. I thought their Jeep blew up. Ah, you guys going to Rob's party? Follow us. Woo! Hey, this looks like the end of Easy Rider, doesn't it? Good. Why don't you get a haircut? Oh. The cloud, you've wrecked three vans. Good job. Hey, didn't even go through the window. Huh. I'm the guy with a snake on my face. What's this? The end of Master Ninja? Tune in tomorrow. Same ninja time, same ninja station. <laughs> Let's dress him funny. Oh, he already is. Hey, Tim's making a dirt angel. <laughs> I'm Max Keller. I used to be able to walk. Is it curtains for Van Patten? He's dead. You've killed him. Hail, Hail Dorothy. Dorothy. I no. can speak clearly now. My brain is gone. <laughs> Mendoza! Hey, Tim, don't boot on the hood. It'll take the wax off. Yes, it's the Sporty Cutlass Supreme. 
<coughs> Wide tracking Pontiac. <coughs> Get him into the back of the Jeep. Oh! Let him go, let him go. Yeah, him nothing go. worse than a cornered Van Patten. Mm -hmm. They'll climb you. Pick him up later. Yeah. No place in this county he can go that I won't hear about. Yeah, well, what about Carrie's place? Maybe. Well, he'll come up empty. Hmm? The little lady won't be there. Big hand, the little lady. First, put the body in the car. Sorry, boss, my first case. Take him to the old oh. point. Meet us there. After you pick up the girl. Before you put your coats on the top peg. Wait a minute. You said we'd have dinner first. Bad enough one man is dead. Can't hurt that girl. You'll find. I'll find nothing. There are no bodies. Two transients moved on. You're starting to look delicious, boss. Headstrong girl just couldn't take it any longer. She left town. No. I won't be part of this. Carter, you've been a part of it since the day you decided that comfortable job of yours was more important than telling the police Shoot. what happened to Carrie's brother. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about pork chops. You understand? I'm so hungry. <laughs> yes. Jeep. The wizard's not in. Come on, Max. Come on. Come on, Max. Four minute mile. Could strain a course of bacon. The, 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 the could strain a course of bacon? No pain. I'm sorry, just not. What? But fighting gold? Like he said. My peach is dipped in sauna? What, what is he saying? The mediocrity of the long distance runner. <laughs> oh no, it's Jim Fix! <gasps> oh, sorry, bad joke. You know, his brother was a bionic. Oh, boy. yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Carrie! Turn the cheap for UNICEF! Oh, oh. oh, you're Max? sweaty. Max? A sweaty Van Patten. You gotta get out of here. Ooh. Right now. Webster's done his way over here with his pals. We're going to the police. Well, where's... He's dead. Huh? Come on! Wait, 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 I need my lip that. gloss. Uh-oh. Uh, you know how to whistle, don't you? Get the car. Well, they pick up and deliver. Hmm. Get in the car! Gee, thanks. There's some guys following us, and it'd really be great if... Oh, wait. Chick jeans. Okay, uh, everybody in? Okay. The Stephen King Book Club. How do you like our little film? Something seems a little fishy. <laughs> Kill him. Are those Skylon Air Max? I thought so. Charles Moffat, feared not. Puma? The last poor Yurik, I knew him. Are you plant your ninjas in the late fall? I don't know, three, three and a half feet. Throw them in. Oh, they're doing blood simple. Webster, you... Thesaurus. Patience, pal. Your moment's coming. And oh, hers. Hmm. Yeah, like I did for my brother. Mm-hmm. And the other. Two more, just like this one, unmarked. There's a lot of them. Hey, <laughs> careful with that. <laughs> they don't use it anymore. No caretaker, no maintenance. No tears and no hearts breaking, no remorse. In. Now I got it, Webster. Really bothering me. It was you behind the dictionary capers. It's not just that you run the cannery the way you want. No flack, no union. No. No tears. And... That's not enough to kill people for. There's another reason. What would that be? You get off on this. It's a thrill, a kick. Mm. Kick. the power you have. Life <laughs> and death. Yeah. It's a tough act to top. What I feel and what I think isn't going to matter to you much longer, Keller. <laughs> Any more than it does for your late hey, friend. Hey, more dirt in the hole, less on my shoes. Or you, Carter. Ooh. Me? Didn't Ooh. I tell you, Carter? After 35 years of keeping your nose clean and looking the other way, this is what you get. I'm not dead yet. Uh-oh. Dirt man oh. in color. I hope he doesn't soil his ninja robes. <laughs> Terrible. Oh. Have you learned the plot? <laughs> Stop it. Enjoy. Stop it. I feel so dirty. I'll just be by the tree looking cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sound like cardboard boxes. Oh no, that's the Rosetta Stone. Don't it? Oh, rock, paper, scissor. <laughs> Thanks. 
Uh, I was just reaching for the Snickers bar in the glove box, boss. Come here, Butterball. That's for Dom Deloise. He's got trouble in spades. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to have your ninja spade. <laughs> hey, he's Little John. Digging this theme? Stop him! Stop him! Thank you. Ooh, right in the keister. Kunta Kinte. Hit him, it's dark! No one will know. Ah, oh, rats. I know. Low and heartbeat to barely a pulse. Close your door to the senses like it did in the motel room? No, uh, it was really dead, Tim, on the reanimator. Really mm. On the edge of death. It can only be affected once or twice. More than that, it loses its impact. Could prove fatal. Oh. Do it again. I dare you. I'm glad you're alive. I prefer it. We are good friends, Tim. <laughs> Epilogue, where you always get to see Lee's gut. Right. Yep, and there it is. Oh, you see what I mean? <laughs> fast. When does it happen? Oh, about in a week. Listen, I want to thank y'all for proving something that I believed in. You cannot ask. Sorry about your brother, yeah. Carrie. Well, at least I know for sure now. I needed to. Sob, sob, remorse, remorse. Listen, well, if you still need a job, I can get you one at the union. Hmm. I'll be in the band with Henry. Reading of my and The classy guy. He's an idiot. I don't know how he made those people think he was dead. It's a long story. Going back. Oh, no. Listen, about that job. You're fired. <laughs> I got to go, Carrie. No. Oh. Someone we have to find for the master. The master? My friend. It's kind of a nickname. <laughs> I'll be back this way for next year's race. You better be. Because I'll be a legal age then. Hey. Sorry. This shit tastes like salmon. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> what are we in the middle of? What's this? Mm. I'm a stranger in paradise. But there's nothing wrong with my Take car. It. I missed something. Who's that? Grab on the drive. Baby, I'm getting to you. Okay. See if you can shake her loose now, Tim. Woo. Next week on Manix. <laughs> hey, look. Butt Court's up at the top of the cliff playing a banjo. <laughs> Matt Houston in color. Those magnificent men in the flying machines. Are... All right, see that guy down there? Jump on him. I'm gonna drop you off right by him. No, I oh, won't. Oh, I hate him. Yes, oh. yes, it's gonna be okay. When I tell you to drop, you drop. What Here in the go. Sam? Oh. Look, I got her, and I'm gonna drop her right by you. So be ready. Timothy Van Patten is Sky King. Brought to you by the Disco. Coming in. Well, she is kind of a blonde bombshell. Oh. It's kind of a stretch. Yeah. Ouch. And in an unrelated incident, a car pulled over today. More later. More better. Enjoy Red Wing shoes. Hmm. I like to watch. Hey, we lost the sound. No, no. It's... Oh, I... Hmm. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I knew those brakes were gone. I should have had them fixed. There's just no time. I mean, everything's always too fast. My whole life's always been <laughs> I like that. I dropped fast. you. I mean, that last bend back there, I didn't even... I didn't even think I was going to make it. Well, slow down. Take a breath. You're going faster than the car. <laughs> well, I always talk too fast, especially when I'm scared half to death. Now, who are you? Max Keller. John McAllister. Wait. You're... Oh, I'm Alicia Clayton, native California, freckles, surfboards, and uh, fast cars. What is this, a dating game? And now I think I'm oh, we'll take you home. Oh, well, wait a minute. You saved my life. And well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to give you for that? Oh, just a like dollar? A dollar. Good. A big dollar. <clears throat> I have an idea. Oh, yes. There's a big garden party this afternoon for family and friends at the European Summit. Will you come? 
I don't think we'd be on the guest list. Uh, we hate no, you. No, my father's Senator Clayton. He's organizing the party. Senator Claghorn? Uh, do me a favor. Don't say anything about the sports car, okay? I mean, he's had to put up with added security bond threats, secret service agents. All he needs now is to hear about a reckless driving daughter. Four o'clock. Oh, and, uh, black tie, okay? Okay. Okay. Get in. Well, bye. Do. Hey, shoot some of this action my way. Maybe I should have kissed her. Would have been a good move. <laughs> Pardon party? We'll take it. Right. You think Rick Nelson will be hmm? there? It's possible. Maybe. Reminisce. Eastern thought. Go with flow. Ah, what a cliche. A Japanese guy in a GM car. Xanadu, stately home of Charles Foster Kane. Cost no one can say. Looks like a Paul Clay painting. Yeah. We'll come from the west, out of the sun. You we'll got a crown from the on. east. Yeah. Senator Clayton won't know what hit him. We'll be ready. Every man knows what he's supposed to do. Hmm? How many people do you want killed? How many up for? No one. We'll take what we came for and get out. Oh, the military's wearing Zubas now. Mm, neat. I like. Not Sybil Denning, but an incredible simulation. I'll say. Mm. Your loyalties must be with the sect. Hmm? Say, Uncle. David McCallum. My loyalties are to myself, you know that. I can remember. Ooh, Don't I remember. Am. Memories are dangerous in the wrong hands. Remember when you used to get good work, Dave? Steal. <laughs> Serena. You want liberation for your people to free them. What makes you think this is the right way? Liberate if this, they David. they don't heed us, we'll kill them. Yeah, yeah, you'll kill anyone who stands in your way for the cause. That's the burden you carry. I stop believing in causes. Now I just believe I just in effects. A job. For which we pay you a great deal of money. Plus dental and a 401k. Wolf. I'll get you what you need. Peroxide, lots of it. It might even work. If you do exactly as you're told. She's Skeletor's sister. Look at her. Shelly Tor. What memories will hold you back then? Well, we could sell their plasma, they maybe. cooperate. You can kill them. Didn't know Harrison would do it. Ba boom yeah. It was a pretty chic garden party. And I figured the worst thing that could happen to us was eating a bad hors d'oeuvre. <clears throat> or drinking too much champagne, right? Right. Huh. Now when you're with the master. So, so more horse the ovaries? Fun. There you go. David Eisenhower. Hi there. Hey, how's it Hello. going? Hey. Hello Hello there. Hello. Who's winning the Dodger game? Oh. Hi, Annie. Alicia, Alicia I need to ask you. you. Kind of looks like Stevie I'll Nicks. Yeah, I yeah, want to recognize her without a big bottle of wild turkey, though. <laughs> Oh, left at the altar, huh? Uh, <laughs> good crowd, huh? Thank you. I told the senator there'd be a large attendance. We could have our own summit meeting. Move your hand or lose it at the wrist. Ooh, such a smart mouth with such a lovely lady. Get lost, Palin. Tologist. When are you going to give me a break, huh? Greasy kid stuff. Oily. Even in a tux. How do you do it? Johnny. Be good. Did you double the security? Everything's uh, taken care of, Senator. Everybody's got two guns, Nothing sir. Nothing to worry about. I like worrying, Senator. <laughs> you were me. And an ulcer. Darling, you look stunning. Well, thank you, Daddy. I was just telling her the same thing. Yeah, but in a sleazy, sexist way. No, it just didn't sound the same. She's digging me big time. I know it. I feel like I'm back at my high school prom. I hope your date was better looking than me. <laughs> that's a what sure bet. <laughs> the longest legs and the greatest eyes. But that's it. How about you? Didn't you have a girl on your arm the last time you were decked out like this? VJ Day. Enough said. Party on the base in Honolulu. We'd never met before. Saw her across a crowded room, huh? Something like that. Who was she? Someone very special. She threw on a dashiki and blew my but ninja they... mind. It's your turn. I don't think this is my kind of scene here. Well, she's going to be too much for you. Why don't you let experience take over? Uh, I think there are laws against that sort of thing. <laughs> she talk you to death. I'll risk it. I need a game plan. On the tenth sentence, kiss her. 
Oh, sure. Take advice from longtime bachelor Lee Van Cleef. Thanks. Uh, take that kick me sign off your butt. Yeah, that's your paper moon, buddy. Now you're good. Thanks. Hey, Alicia. I used to be Bond. James Bond. Now I'm in movies. Bad movies. Lord Bond. Hmm. Not bad. Looks like there's a guy as dull as I am. Hmm. Isn't everyone in here so funny? Uh, no, thank you. Could you get me some preachers? Yes, sir. Thank you. Preachers? John Peter McAllister. Well, well. That's my no. name, too. Is that still the name you're using? It's as good as any. I wouldn't have thought a Southern California garden party was quite your style. And what style would that be? The Friend? austerity, the dedication, the discipline of a ninja master. Uh, I'm also an Amway salesman. Go on. Of a killer. You'll <coughs> never get rid of that thought, will you, Mallory? Why should I? Killer, Your pupils killer, have killer. Gone back to the glory of the old killer. days. Political assassination. Paid killers. Killer. A young man named Okasa. Oh, he is no longer my pupil. Who's playing not. him now? Now you've taught him how to kill. Killer. He doesn't need you anymore. Kill. Okasa's a good what cop. Does he? Killer. I left that way of life behind me. What are you doing here? Networking. Killer. You're invited, pal. Who's the geek? A new pupil. The name's Max Keller. The last we killer? heard, you were killed in Japan. News killer. of my death is somewhat exaggerated. Ooh, Lee Van Cleef and Mark Angeles. Twain tonight. The eve of the European summit. Killer, killer, killer. Just passing through. Like I said, pal, we were invited to a party. That's all. You were the worst James Bond. Enjoy it. Killer. I think one of those, one of those. He looks good. A little of that. Oh, Keepers, what a family ninja. This is new. Get back in the food line. The man in the crowd with the multicolored mirrors on his hapnia boots? Yes. Very interesting, but cuckoo. Brian Jones is in there, floor. Mm. I was just going to the buffet. Move, Miss Clayton. You're going with us. Man, that looks like the Brady House, doesn't it? Come on, Senator. Let's go. Yeah, hey, come on, Senator. You'll know which bars are open late. <laughs> well, it's an armed inside, progressive inside. dinner. These are great. Guess I'm not the only ninja here. Whoa, bad luck. Two on a star. Good. Good night, everyone. You were enjoyed. There's more rice in the fridge if you need it. Bye. Boy, you know, Malcolm Forbes really know how to throw a party. Let me tell you. Lighten up, he was just gonna give you a to-go cup. Come on! Mm. Larry Bird's dead. Sandwich? Mm. Sandwiches? My finger dead, I sir! Bullet raised my head! Oh, he shot a wacky wall walker on the side of that helicopter. Oh, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Ooh. Wow, he's driving an Austin Martin. No, it's a, it's a Martin and Lewis, or a John mm -hmm. Aston and Martin mm -hmm. and Lewis. Tetris for Game Boy. Yes, yes, yes. Getting shot at the garden party was bad enough. Then we got arrested. Max, you gotta stop punishing yourself. There was nothing you could do. Now Tim can't get arrested. He took us. <laughs> Right out of my hands. Some ninja pupil. First moment of real danger, he folds like a house of cards. 
I was there too. All I could do was. I can't believe they actually think we had something to do with that raid. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Go with him. Edward James almost. Almost. Your father, your brother Vince, and your Aunt Joyce are here to bail you out. Get out of here. McLeod. All right, McAllister. Alistair? I want some answers. Mine? Or the ones you want to hear? I can't believe you're still doing that in your act. And here's your watch. <laughs> nice out, Rod. Michael, this is Kid. I need to be on the set of St. Elsewhere by four. Marty! Yes! 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 We love Marty. I want to know how they got through, and I want to know quick. Is it okay that we're dressed all the same? You can write that in your report. How many hostages were taken? Ten, all the wives and relatives of the European delegate, and Senator Clayton. Uh, Bob, where were you? I mean, where was I? Look, we were surprised. Now, we tried the best we could. All my men tried. Surprise None of us party. could get a clean shot at it. Did we overdress for this Any briefing? Any from the kidnappers? There's nothing yet, Senator. You blanketed the area? Hmm. In about four minutes. Bob? I didn't want Ted Turner to hear this, but he wants to colorize the second hundred years. What do you think? You know, in a couple of years, this whole thing's going to be replaced by a death count. I don't think it was Carlos, and it's not Kelgen. But it started it with a like K. In and out, buried personnel. You know what I mean? Clearances, and nobody killed. Hmm. Now, who does that sound like? Gordon Liddy? Professional, specifically. Castile? Yep. He entered Miami two days ago. We lost him in the Rockies. How dangerous is he? Oh, I'd put him in the top three. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? No what clue. He Gee. He's long since given up caring. Well, what do you think he wants? It's not what he wants. It's what they want. It's like a tennis match. Who? That's what Whoever I'm asking. Third, third base. base. But he has had a particular association with one group of terrorists over the years. They call themselves freedom fighters. Hmm. Contras? Led by a girl named Serena. Oh, it's the groovy ghoulies. That was a long time ago. Ah, with Castile. Love Old soap. North is die hard. You know Castile. Oh, yeah, I know him. Oh, I love his soap. I tried to nail him for years. Okay. So is Mallory. They've crossed each other's paths a number of times. Yes, and both of them still alive. So far. Yes. Mallory was at the garden party. Everyone was there. Yoko brought a walrus. He was there. There's magic in the yeah. air. So where the hell is he now? He's driving around in his fabulous new Aston Martin. Could these have come from ancient astronauts? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, well, even a secret agent has to go wring out a sock. <sighs> Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> For lease? Oh, boy, I've got to call my realtor. Oh. Oh, he must be president of the Audubon Society. Mm. And look. Oh, just driving on the Audubon. <laughs> Careful. Those are sharp. <laughs> ah, my ankle, Wendy, Wendy. <sighs> Xanadu, stately home of... Oh, forget it. We'd like to thank you for coming to today's open house. You'll be dying here. This is the dying room. <laughs> uh, this will be your Ow! room. Hmm? Fits right in. Okay, let's go. Are you okay? Yes. Bars. And punch. That's what I'm hungry for. Doesn't make for. any difference. We're too high anyway. I know. You know the way out of here? Wait a minute. Hmm. It's Brian Ferry taking pictures. Yes, yes, work with me. Come on, throw your gutters back, wet your roof. Yes. She's reading Little Drummer Girl. Oh. Look. Where? Oh. Oh, I've seen this show. It's the master with the James Bond. You meet again, members. Mr. Mallory. Yeah. You know this man. Yeah, I know him. Brian Do you Perry. want him killed? Natch! If it becomes necessary, time to make contact. Thanks. Uh, you'll get these back at the end of your trip. Thank you. Forbes here. Microsoft Service, could you hold for an hour? Right, thank you. Wait, wait. The... Control! What do they want? Political prisoners released, jails in mm -hmm. Lebanon, France, mm -hmm. Irish terrorists mm -hmm. in England, subversive elements in Berlin, about 200. Mm -hmm. And a bucket of chicken. Castile. Huh. All right, Castile, we've opened negotiations. <laughs> but you have to understand. No, you understand. Oh. Finalize negotiations by 6 in the morning or we execute the hostages. Now, you do that, Castile. 
Then you're marked for life. There'll be nowhere in the world you can hide. You can always hide in the shadows. Oh, you got me on that. You walked right into it. I will contact you at precisely 0550. That's it, huh? Forbes, continue negotiation with the government. So let them think we're going through with it. Again? What is our plan? Oh, shut up, Mr. Hold Bond. Hold on, helicopter assault at dawn. <laughs> That's crazy. You know Castile. He's killed hostages before. Stockholm, Frankfurt. We don't bargain with terrorists. Munich, 72, taught us that. Oh, uh, we had none of that. That was at the blade. Olympics. Everyone will be dead. Let's roll. Uh, we see it going. Mm -hmm. There is one other way. Hey, photo we'll insert. Yeah. Huh. One or two men over that wall and inside before we hit them. That's a sheer 70-foot wall. No human being could climb that through, unless he were a ninja. No, 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 no. It's all wrong. Timothy Van Patten is not the type for a gerbil. It's a hamster. Well, whatever. He shouldn't be going around with a crusaded or any small Slavic origin rodent. It doesn't fit the profile. Ah, you're loony. Well, for your information, Boris, there are plenty of perfect examples of detectives and other crime-fighting types whose pets were perfectly suited to them. Beretta's cockatoo, Sonny Crockett had a crocodile, Columbo's basset hound, BJ had the bear. Turner had hooch. Right, good. McLeod had his horse. They all make sense. Oh, come on. Who went and made you the expert? Well, uh... Well, actually, I did. I wrote a subroutine into his database allowing him to pair fictional detectives with pets. <laughs> oh, gee, what a useful bit of programming. Hey. Well, it's something to do. I mean, uh, well, why don't you uh, do it for us with today's mumbling hero, well, you know? Well, I'd suggest a mandrill for Timothy. A mandrill? What yeah. about Magnum P.I.? Oh, let's see, something tropical. A sea turtle. How about Jim Rockford? Praying mantis. T.J. Hooker? Oh, he'd have a creature with the head of Adrian's men and the body of a spider monkey. Uh, the Avengers. For Emma Peel, a newt for John Steed, let's see, a spitting cobra or a duck. Toma? Cockatoo, same as Beretta. Next? Uh, Bad Masterson. Penguin. All of your 19th century Western detectives would have penguins, but there may be a couple puffins thrown in, so be sure to ask me about each one. Okay. What about, uh, Starsky and Hutch? Paul Michael Glazer of Vicuna, David Soule, a bat. Uh, Matlock. He raises mealworms for Money. The same. Sea cow. Miss Marple. Weasel. Mod Squad. Puppy, lizard, bird. Uh, Charles Darwin. Oh, Char no, he wasn't what? a detective. Well, no. so he tracked stuff down, didn't he? It's okay, Joel, it's okay. Crow, Professor Darwin would have a howler monkey that would eventually evolve into his wisecracking partner, Blake. Oh, now you're just showing off. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Charles Darwin wasn't fictional. Oh, just sh hush, you two. We got commercials. Let's go. What kind of pet would Space Ghost have? Oh, that's have? a monkey. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a trick question. You don't release oh, Michael oh, Keller oh. until tomorrow. I thought he was your friend. He is. But he'd insist on going with us, and I'm not getting him killed. God, he will all be me. over in the morning. You got it. You got me. Smug Brothers right there. Couple of dorks. <laughs> oh, he brought a sample case. Yep. Uh, no room for underwear in there. Sorry, Max. Yeah, all this stuff. This turns out to be an ending. I wish we'd have been together. Look at all the things he can do with his spirograph. Ooh. Come along, my little friend. Even you, Longfellow. You know, his act is kind of prop heavy. Yeah. Ah, uh, you forgot your six finger. Man alive. Hmm? Hmm? The gerbil! Oh, no. Wait, I thought he turned that light off. Suckies. Oh, no, it's Queen Latifah again. I think he just walked through the lobby like that. I don't know. Music by Zomfir. Gotcha, you little dickens. <laughs> it is very well nice. choreographed. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Everybody's going out for it. Ooh. Oh, keep the ball in there. I don't think Lee can take much more of this. Uh -huh. you, know? you know, I don't think that's Lee. I know. <laughs> okay. You betrayed us, Master. I get the bit by the window. Not without a weapon. Well, they do this every episode for crying out loud. Ah, that always happens. It's got a sting. This guy's got a knife in his didgeridoo. Wilkinson saw it. I bet Holiday Inn has a policy on this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see you're using the Danish counter. Mm -hmm. I thought it was wise considering the terrain. Oh, hey, 
Garden Weasel. Bruce Lee, press on nails. Ooh, lucky punch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, man, oh. and designing women's on in half an hour. Damn. Huh. Oh, I've heard about this kind of behavior. Oh. Jump back. Erase myself. Oh, Boo. weak, Boo. weak, weak. I'm starting to not believe this uh -huh. and just stop. Uh, Where has my little dog gone? You know? They had to release me. No evidence. Now I have to get to the master. I'm in a silly side of me in I here. How? I know why he did it. But he's not getting away with it. With what? So, cow flop? <laughs> Do you think they'll find us? Nice caftan. Of course they mm. Really? Yes, they will. Have a cow flop. Let Hostage House cater your next caper. Please, it's Shake and Bake, and we helped. Come on, it's original recipe. Eat. I'm missing all my children. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Sing it. Get a bucket, bucket of chicken. <laughs> Come on, finger mm. look. Boy, this chicken's just not going over. Oh, hell, I'm not shy. Can I have your dessert, too? Hmm? No. It's the Colonel! <gasps> John Palin. I can't believe it. Sit down. Now, why didn't you eat my chicken? John. Marsha. You're one of them. One of the poor little rich girl. The glory of Vanderbilt's story. It's so beautiful and defiant now. Well, well she's still defiant. <laughs> Hmm. I could kill you right now. You're gonna kill us anyway, and don't you think we all know it? Zing. No one's coming for you, Alicia. There, I've said it, and I'm proud. <laughs> Ken Barry. What? Huh. Boy, rotten senior trip, eh, honey? Mm. It hurts! Oh, oh. Gonna need me. But thanks for the sentiment. Did you ever say food of the gods, buddy? This is it. Well, you're in it now, up stand. to your neck. I don't like trusting you. I don't think you have much choice. Zing them. You climb as I do, or you'll fall. Hi, keep it. Like he's climbing a silo. Found out about the fortress in the federal mm. building. And the digger and the dealer and the dog was, as well. And getting in there were two different things. Hey, sounds like Chicago's in the back of the van. Hey, crack a window! Great night for flying. Ah, uh, flying on the ground is wrong. You get up that rope, cigar! Oh, the great master ninja needs a spotter. Uh-oh. Reaction. Oh, cripes, I wet him. Look out down there. Stay together, cheeks. Stay, stay together, cheeks. Ooh. Where does he get this stuff from? Reaction. Brother. Uh, <clears throat> off delay, sort of. <laughs> there. Watch now as they go up the roof. A celebrity will stick his head out. <laughs> yeah. Like Batman. Prime it. Where did he get this thing? Is he Hudson Hawk? First pull start. Starts every time. Yeah. Lean back, Tim. Oh, if old fatty up there can do it, I guess I can. It looks like he's climbing a rosary, doesn't it? I 
get a weird feeling when I shimmy up this rope. <laughs> Ator, no! Quiet, Tim. Picture yourself over the sea of Japan, Max. Augering in. Did he bring his hamster on the ultralight? Oh, he's timed himself. Oh. Follow me. Keep your balance. I know how to balance. Duh, I'm sure. And keep your voice down. What? Oh, voice down. Shh, right. Yeah. Come on, hurry. I gotta get this tux back to Genghis. Come on. What's the plan? Plan? Oh, oh. Split up. Be back at this wall in 20 minutes. You got it. Two of them, huh? Shoot them down. In Shoot army. to kill. Too late, Mr. Mallory. This time, you're too late. Oh, wait. We did something again. Wow, well, we landed in a cistern. Ooh. We now join Timothy Van Patten, already in progress. Do, 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 do. Careful, Tim. That could hurt. This is Mallory. Old enemy. I'll take care of him. Yeah, it's army class. OK, thanks, Forbes. Uh, thanks for the information. I'll inform Senator Clayton. Roger. Thanks for your order. They're going to launch a full-scale helicopter assault at 6 o'clock. Hmm? Could they be mistaken? They have no reason to lie to me. <laughs> the helicopters are standing at the foot of the mountain waiting to go. Now, we haven't got any time unless you intend to stand and fight. That's something else that Oof. gave up a long time ago. I know when to fight. Our backs against the wall. We can be out of here in under an hour. Get everything ready. Debbie and what Dumas. about the hostages? We'll execute them just before we leave. Oh, you always put everything off till the last minute. Your cause can be served, Serena. Next time, they'll listen. Oh, uh, Dave Shaggy wants his beard back. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone can stand to Next sober time. up, take a shave and a shower. Hi, Chad. How's it going, Doris? No, fine. Mm, not bad. I am. Oh, 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 Ooh, Lee's the butt of that joke. <laughs> hey, well, a shot in betrayed. the dark. Your government cares nothing for your lives. They're the ones executing you. I wouldn't pay my taxes yeah. either. I wouldn't pay my dress. And our poor little rich girl is going to be the first oh, to no. die. I mean, her dress is taking a beating, isn't it? No one follows us. I know what you said about my skull, and I blew up. Well, I'm just leaving. Gee, they seem nice. Everything's going to be all right. Hey, look, hey, uh... Furnace filter. It's not funny. Furnace filter. Freeze! Tag! Not it. Don't even think about it. Senator. Ah! You, you said something about a backup. It's a long shot, yep. Senator. It's a tape Very backup. Long. You're leaning on it. The assault horse is ready. You heard from Mallory? No, no, no word. No, no. What about McAllister? They could have got separated. Monitoring both frequencies, nothing. Nothing, huh? Gee, too bad. Send them in. Sorry. Lose the tux, will you? It's starting to smell like Fritos. Jeez. Oh, I got a headache this big. Oh, my aching neck. Second hundred years. What are you What are you looking at? We've seen it. It's a nice piece of real estate. We know. <laughs> we put him in here. He was wearing some kind of black ninja outfit. Real dopey looking. He's gone. Huh? Hmm? He's back, and this time it's personal. Oh, right on my Ooh. keys. Ooh. Ow. Oh, my mask. Time tunnel in color. Take the average white bands up there. Sit down, Alicia. So I guess I'll sit here then, okay? Guy. I'm gonna get split ends. Hey. Hey. Keep your hair off of her. A stunt double all of a sudden. Come on. Really slide on that linoleum. Oof. Alicia, you okay? Oh, yes. It's your breath. Oh. 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 The end. Are you okay? I don't even want to know how you. See of Japan, glided in. Now that is. So what happened to Mallory? Little tater tay with Castillo. Tater tots? That's what I overheard. Mm. Should buy us enough time. Oh, but 
sending help with an arsenal in the garage, and a truck that's not going anywhere. Put this back. Hey, an RF cable. Thanks, Tim. There's a guard on the door at the top of the stairs. Is that where the rest of the hostages are? Yeah. Don't feed them chicken. Get your truck ready. Make sure the gates are open. I need your help. Sure. Scream. Pull my finger. What? Scream. 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 Good. That's my cue. Hell, you. Yeah. Give and go. I saved the help. I need help. Listen, pal. Pull, Pull my finger. Well, yeah. Here every day. I must be rubbing off on you. You I said pull my finger. Ah, he's not gonna do it. Come on. Well, suddenly she's a ninja groupie. Don't hang around with them. This is a ninja cookie. Weird. Stand straight like a soldier. Oh, I'm like blind. Whoa, somebody got a crow loose in here? Shut up! Everybody, don't be afraid. Get up. Come on, you're on your way. Come on. You're on your way. Hurry up, my parents will be home in 10 minutes. I sure hope somebody grabbed that chicken. Move it, come on. Mom said never trust a guy in satin. You can! Start the executions. Without me. Start the helicopters. Mr. Mallory and I have a few quiet words to say together. In private. <sighs> say. Don't. Now don't move. I want to remember you just as you are right now. Getting rattled? Characteristic emotion. I'm hammered. You've killed a lot of my friends. So? Got in the way. I don't kill innocent people. Hmm. What about your control sending in his assault force? You think yeah. he cares about the lives of the hostages? All he cares about is stopping terrorism. It's all terrorism. Different names, different Ooh, causes. Deep. Save the world for what? What do you care about, Mallory? David's got a little pain to work through. Yeah, I think so. Well, I see you're being professional. Uh, well, you have a little time left to reflect on the cost of your professionalism. Hmm? Oh, Bex, kill it. Cripes, where'd it pop by that? Hey, what happened to him? He took a bullet in the flipper, I guess <laughs> so. This place is really swell. Uh oh. Oh, wrong door. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Blondes have more guns. Ooh. My Tom McCann's! Now the Willy. You're gonna be last. <laughs> oh, now he's into that. <laughs> so, why doesn't the gas affect him? He can't breathe through his nose. <laughs> what goes up? Oops. That was me. Sorry. Oops. I'd say the Marines had just landed. Too late to help you, Mallory. <laughs> Silly string. Who <laughs> 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 oh, are you? You'll never know. Just how much. Jim Carter. Good move. <laughs> well, thanks. That was nice work. If you can get it. Next, loading the hostages onto a truck. Now, let's get out of here. Ryder rents Ninja Transports. I love these shots. Slow it down more, please. Now it looks like they're climbing down a rose reel. Oh, oh, ooh. Ow, ow, oh, oh. It's the knots that, ouch. Oh, rope burns. Oh. <laughs> now, let's go home, friend. Oh, be careful, I'm wealthy. I don't think Hugh Hall recommends that. The migrant socialites bound for Malibu. Uh, will you guys be my friend? Oh. Good. Whoa there, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's a ninja, all right. Look at the cat-like moves. So you came back for me. You to come back for me? I uh, would not. you big lug, come here. Ah. Well, his tuck sure held up well, huh? Didn't expect to see you again. I had the same feeling about you last night. I should have known better. With a girl like you. What can I do? Take a few less chances. I'll stop when you stop. What did you stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, guess the mission into flight. Air America. Wait, they weren't early. One Adam Twelve, stop Adam the movie. Please. Your safe. There'll be a bus to pick you up here in a moment. And they'll take you on a tour of the stars' homes. Oh, Matt, you're not leaving, are you? Oh, sorry, I mean, I'm in love, love with the union organizer. Everything will be back to normal again. That is, if I can ever figure out what's normal again. But listen, we could spend time together. I mean, without bullets flying around and helicopters landing in my backyard. Alicia, shut up. Is that ten sentences yet? What? Hmm. Oh, you mm. taste just like Monty Markham. You taste like a ninja. Don't you be a stranger, okay? I'll remember that. Jeez, this guy's breaking hearts all over the map. Bye. Bye, Max. Bye. <sighs> all right, first base, Ooh. huh? Yeah. You were right. When in doubt, you kiss him. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm bad at that. No, right. Well, we will as soon as Okasa's stopped. Well, at least he wasn't around this time. Count our blessings, right? Geez, you need the universal what? translator to understand that guy. Colonel you know, before Preston? we go on searching for your daughter, we're going to swing by Vegas for a little R&R. &R, and I'm going to show you a good time for once. Vegas? I thought we just had a good time. Don't! Don't. Oh, oh, Master ah. Ninja, will you ever learn? <laughs> well, let's get going. Uh, I'm going to stay. I like Sing the theme one. song here. He's a man with a plan. Gotta go where the hamster goes. You're a ninja. Uh, Joel, 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 mm. uh, carry me. Okay. What are you sick He's of? He's got thighs like a hamster. Whoo! Ah, get down. Jump back. Kiss myself. You know, today's experiment was packed with more Timothy Van Patten scenes than ever, and yet, I feel so empty. Yeah, usually when I watch two back-to-back -back episodes of a failed mid-80s action show repackaged and presented as a feature-length movie, I expect more. Well, you gotta admit, the experiments have been pretty rugged lately, but oh. uh, let's let bygones be bygones and has-beens be has-beens <laughs> and have some fun with this neat... Uh, Lee Van Cleef foam core dress up doll. Yeah. You see, wow, look cool. at Lee's already dressed for action in his Joe Namath netted slingshot briefs. Oh there. my god, Joel, for heaven's sake, put some clothes on him. You know, see? with that gut, wouldn't a Charles Durning underoos be far more appropriate? Well, no, check it out. <laughs> see what happens when you put the ninja costume on? How, uh, what a slimming effect it has on the car. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Hey, could you put a pirate costume on him? What? Lee Van Cleef didn't wear a pirate outfit in this or any other film. I know. It's just a fantasy I've always had. Anyway, it's uh, time to read a letter. Uh, oh, let's put hey. that up on Still Store there, Cam. Uh, this one comes from Sue Schroeder of Rochester, New York. And Hi, Sue. Sue writes, I can certainly sympathize with being forced to watch bad movies because I am a film studies grad student. Most of the movies that I have to watch, though, are 10 hours long and have subtitles. Ooh, Actually, when I was still finger. taking classes, I didn't even get to see movies. All I did was read Freud and dumb French people like, uh, what's that word? Derrida. Derrida. Foucault! <coughs> I hated it. Well, I almost have my degree, so it will all be over soon. Huh. P.S. I wanted to draw a picture for you all. But I have to get back to writing my thesis. Also, will you three say what your favorite movies of all time are? That's a good mm. one. Oh, well, for think? me, it's easy. Big Foss and Little Halsey. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kafka's The Castle. I thought it was Zardoz. I'd have to say uh, Colossus, The Forbin Project. Huh. Uh, what do you think, sirs? Oh, The Forbin Project, one of my favorite films. The, the thing I like most Doctor, about Doctor, can I just say something? Uh, can I just get serious? I have something very important, which... I really feel has to be said. Well, Frank, you do look serious. Um, by all means, the floor is yours. Thank you, Doctor. You know, one thing in today's experiment caused great pain to yours truly, TV's Frank. It was the appearance of Monty Markham in the second episode. I mean, the later half of today's movie. Monty Markham was the star of my favorite television series when I was just a young man living in my mother's basement. I'm talking, of course, of... The Second Hundred Years, which, as you all remember, was the crazy, wild show about him being trapped in suspended animation for a hundred years, coming back, trying to fit into contemporary society. <laughs> I liked it. The Second Hundred Years was truly vintage Markham, and I want everyone out there right now to write 
to ABC and say, please, please, Mr. ABC executive, bring back the second hundred years starring Monty Markham. Please do it for the laughter, for the love, for the boys. Well, Frank, that was very touching. I'm sure the second hundred year issue was on everyone's mind. Shall I crush your skull or do you want to do it? Oh, I think you ought to. Very well. Well, in the immortal words of Monty Markham, here come to judge. Uh, that was pig meat Markham. Ah!